for this one. It's for all the ladies out there. All the fans, the followers. Come on now. You already know what's going on. No problem at all. None. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll be there when you need me most. What? I'll always be close. I'll always be close. I'll never go close. You should know that you're fucking with a scar, man. You're fucking with a couple star men right now. From years and I'll take care of you because I'm normally paid. Leave it in us and I'll be feeling my way. Real up, step up. Let me get a moment, let me page you like a letter. Maybe looking for either for hotter than no ever. I swear I'm really done with all these jessies when I'm fed. I'm trying to wake up right beside you in the morning when I get up. You're the only one impressing me. You're the only one I see next to me. You're the only one that interests me. All our followers, you're the only one that impresses us. I'll always be close. I will always be close to you. You should know that you're fucking with a star man, yeah. Money know we coming to a star man, yeah. If you ever got a problem, you can call on me. She in love with me, they could act normal, yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'll be there when you need me most. Ooh. I'll always, always be there. Never go go. Baby girl, you know you're messing with a star oh, man, yeah. Tell me when you need me, I'm about to be right there. Take care of you, I'll give you more than you need. Baby girl, coming, coming, coming back like a fiend. If you get one, I'ma do it, my baby. See them other girls can't face me. Anything I want, I'ma do it, my lady. It's your loving, I need it daily. Anything I want for you, I do. You know I try. Anything to make you smile. You know I got you for life, yeah. I'll be there when you need me most. I'll always be close. I'll never go ghost. We'll never go ghost to you guys. Couple man them thought that it was gonna be done by now. Oh, they can't make it past episode ten. Am I jokers? Nah, this is a real thing. A real production company will be there all the time, listeners. Anyways, man's just on that Valentine flex. Still, you get me? Cause you know, Valentine just just went past. You get me? And I had a special day. Had a special a very, day. Very, 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 very special day. What did you do? I was there. Laid in bed, with my right hand. <laughs> <laughs> the trusty Ray. Whew, we had a good night, I must say. We had a good night. We had a good night. Always close. Mm-hmm. Always close. Fam, don't lie to you. You don't be seeing other niggas behind your back. Exactly. Like, come on. My hand is right there every time I need it. Anyways, for them, man, get, you get in it. Wagwan man, them Wagwan Gelem. Welcome to the best show in the UK. We are the pod fellas delivering news and all things entertainment. But remember, all is art, and all art is man made in the image of God. With me, I have Legacy. Yo. The sound bender. And some more AKAs that I'm going to think about later because I'm too busy thinking about my AKAs. And I am your sexy host, Lord Poddington, a.k.a. the Cultural Controller, a.k.a. the Buckethead Bandit, a.k.a. the Baby Mother Side Piece, a.k.a. your hit-and-run connoisseur, a.k.a. Sadiq Babalola. Shout-out to all the fans, all the YouTube listeners, YouTube viewers, Spotify listeners, Apple Podcast listeners, Amazon Podcast listeners, Google Podcast listeners, where else? Uh, everywhere else. Anywhere that you listen, Instagram listeners, we've got videos in there too. Twitter listeners, all of, all of you, man, shout out to all of you. Please go subscribe, like, share, retweet, do all of the things that you need to do to all of the things so that the internet can keep grinding the scares and making sure that the best thing in the UK gets to the front front. And if you want to be a special god or a goddess, make sure you hit that notification button there, right there. Just hit that one time, you get me? So every time the video drop, you're the first one to know. No one else knows. Exclusive thing. Telling you. So how was your Valentine's Day? Let's just get into it real quick. Because obviously, the players' Valentine's Day is not like normal people's Valentine's Day with roses and of all of this and that. Like, you, don't, you know. My Valentine's Day? Yeah. Valentine's Day was a Sunday, innit? Yeah, it was a I Sunday. spent my day with God. Oh, <laughs> with Jesus. Did you say this Valentine's Day was spent with Jesus? Oh, Jesus. oh my God. 
Oh, shout out Jesus, by the way. Shout out Jesus. You're the Lord and Savior. My guy. My guy. My guy. Fam, man turned water into wine. Like, any nigga that could turn water into wine. That's romantic. Fam, if you could turn... Fam, imagine you was Jesus... Turn up for the oh for a date. Days. Fam, I'm gonna turn up with a bottle of every young fam. Exactly. At first you'd be tripping, like, what are you doing? Like you bring some water, like man what sh- babes, sh- sh- wait, just watch this. Why? Do you quick, think quick miracle thing? Do you think Buxton would taste different as wine? <sighs> Buxton's a shit one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but probably like Buxton... the Tesco Tesco value wines. See the wines that you get from Tesco? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like it's almost a good wine, yeah, yeah. but like you can taste the shittiness in it. That's yeah. what makes it good and it gets you drunk quick and all yeah. of that. Yeah, that's what boxing would taste like. Yeah, the high value wine would be smart water. Yeah. That's the that's smart water. Right. Or sometimes it's that other one, can't remember the name of it right now. But it's that one, it's like some spring water. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's like it's got some fancy bottle in that. But anyways, if you might know it, uh, just just okay. you know, comment it down there and whatever. But that one would be fine quality wine. Be fine, fine quality, quality wine. wine. Fam, imagine oh anyways. Anyways, there's so many things. That that's that's a little bit of a of a diversion, so I'm not gonna get into that. Imagine if Jesus existed in our time. That would be crazy. He'll be disappointed though. So how was your Valentine's with Jesus? Uh, it was good. Oh he will be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, very definitely. It was good? Yeah, my Valentine's was good. So you was in the church all day? Yeah. Loving myself. Loving yourself, giving yourself self care yeah, and yeah. all of that. Obviously. God damn. I wanna get into I wanna get into you like no, of course. Homo, of yeah, course. that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Not like that, not like that. But I want to get into like your relationship, like, because you never say Excuse that. Me? You don't disclose information, you stay private in that, like, which is good. But obviously, man's, man's, man's here to play devil's advocate all day, every day. So, you know, you, you, um, did you have a relationship? Prior to Valentine's, yeah, no, like this year. Yeah, this year. No, 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 no. not this year. Last year. No, no, no. Oh, okay. So it's been a while since you've been yeah, in a yeah. relationship. Have you, were you talking to anyone? No. So there was no one that could have even been the Valentine's candidate. Like, there's no one that you be like that you could have been like, uh, if like, cause, in cause my, was, from my view, from no. your view, no, no, no. <laughs> from there. <laughs> I'm just saying, from my view, because it's always like that. From my view... Oh, uh, no. but from there, it's ma- the, it could have maybe been a thing. Possibly. Okay, I well, see. No, thanks. But, but still, there, there would be, like, someone that could have been... Like, say you was bored. Yeah. You could have been like, oh, okay, it's Valentine's Day, let's just meet up and hang out. Because the reason why I was asking is I heard a story about women doing something called Galentine's Day. Oh. And before I heard this story on some random YouTube channel, I didn't know that this was a thing. Yeah. I actually didn't know this was a thing. It's just for lonely bitches. <laughs> it is. It's just for lonely bitches. <laughs> I don't know why you have to feel like you have to be involved. It's not that serious. I know, but they, like, what? They're not calling it Valentine's for women, at least. They're not trying to, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's their own thing. And I'm not that mad at it. Because I think niggas should do that. Well, Galentine's Day. Yeah, but it should be Mandem Day. Mandem Day. That's true. Mandem Day, fam. Niggas should just meet up and just do bare dumb shit together. I don't know. Like fucking fix bulbs or some shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what niggas do. <laughs> I don't be chilling with niggas. That's what I, cl- that's what I clocked about myself, which is a good thing, to be honest. But, guess who else... I had an amazing Valentine's Day. Who? Mick Mill. <laughs> Him and 6 9 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the story was, allegedly, obviously, this is not the actual story for the idiots that might be listening. I'm just trying to be funny. They went out on a date together to the clubs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, um... So, 6 9 Wanted to be claimed publicly by Mick Mill. Ugh. And Mick wasn't up for that. So It's always the one with the long hair in the I relationship. Know. That. Obviously, he's the bitch in the relationship. Yeah. You know. So Mick Mill was like, no, homeboy, that's not happening. People can't know that I'm gay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they go outside and, then, you know, 
Yeah, shit happens. Got into it. Exactly, they got into it. But the, anyways, the real version of the story is just that, like, 6 9 is just trying to do antics, which is yeah. what he's always trying to do. Which is fucking sad. I don't know. And what proves to me that that's exactly what he was trying to do, which is so fucking obvious, so I didn't even need to fucking say that, is the fact that he released a video literally 24 hours later with the clip of that altercation in the video. Fam, at this point, it's over for 6 9 it is. It's just like fucking trying to hang on to like threads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, like, what are you doing? Hip hop doesn't want you. Hip hop doesn't need you. You're a fucking clown. Like, you've proven that time and time. And doing this is proving that even more. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. There was a couple. When he went to jail or yeah. when he was on his trial, I love, I love the OGs, quotation marks, oh. were saying like, uh, this generation doesn't care about snitching. Like, he's going to come out and still be... I'm actually surprised, like... And none of them have said anything, like... I know, they haven't, because finished, they were wrong. Finished. He's actually finished. Because they were wrong. But the thing is, actually, they were right. The only thing is they were wrong in this situation. Because the reason why they were wrong in this situation is because 6 9 snitched and then came out and was... Not only was he so proud of snitching, but then he carried on trolling in a way that offends people that like those certain artists. Yeah. It wasn't done the right way at all. Like, I know he thought... He, he probably thinks in his mind that he's the king of the internet, but he fucked up so many moves after he came out. Before he before he went to jail, or before he was about to be locked up or whatever, he was doing amazing. But then after the criminal aspect entered it, he didn't know how to handle that. And that's just what it is. So now he's just, like, being... Like, he's a fucking desperate prostitute at this, t- at this point, like... Let's be honest. He's acting like a fucking desperate hoe at this point. Yeah. But unfortunately, what I want to talk about, it's not really 6 9 I want to talk about Mick Mill. Mick Mill? Mm-hmm. What, what, how do you think Mick Mill... Because a lot of people on the internet, obviously, a couple of idiots, a couple of people had some points on the internet arguing about how Mick Mill... Like, every time you start to like McMill and start to give him the respect that he deserves because his music is fire. Yeah. That's why everyone still pays mm-hmm. attention to him most of the time anyways. <clears throat> but every time that starts happening, he does some shit or he's involved in, he's involved in some shit that you're just like, oh, look at McMill again. Like, why? Why is he doing this? Yeah. Exactly. Do you mean, why is he involved in this? Like, Jay-Z. I keep saying this. Jay-Z is behind you 100%. Like, any, like, if I had Jay-Z's backing, fam, I'm not even leaving the house on no stupid shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing that. But, so what do you think Mick Mill should have done? Because I'm not really... Okay, let me just make this clear. I'm not really faulting him for this. Because I know 6 9 was there to purposefully provoke him. Do you get what I mean? So that's why I'm not really faulting him for that. But what I am saying, though, is... Don't react. Just go to your car. Let's, let, let him scream like an idiot at someone that's going to their car. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Yeah. That would have been a very different video. A video that probably may not have gone viral. Mm-hmm. And even if it did, people would have just been like, okay, cool. You know, we don't care. I mean, I don't think Meek really handled it bad. He didn't, but he didn't handle it. He didn't handle it great either. Yeah. That's fair for everyone to say when they're looking at the situation after. They're not looking at it as it's happening. That's true. You're like, right. Old Meek, I feel like old Meek would have actually... Like, Popped at him, yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. But he can't do that. You're now Meek Malcolm X. Yeah. Meek Colmax. Malcolm Meek Colmax. Yeah. Meek Colmax. You're now Meek Colmax. Yeah. That's such a hard word to say. But, fam, niggas are looking up to you now. It's different. You're not just Mick Mill that Drake was fucking dissing for, like, how many years. Mm-hmm. You're not that Meek anymore. Do you get what I mean? And that's why I feel like you should have had that in mind. Yeah, you're walking towards something. You're walking towards a situation where you can see that someone clearly has their phone out. Yeah, They're yeah. ready to be faked off with you, who's real tough. Obviously, your initial reaction is different. But then when you, when you 
think about who you are and how this interaction could potentially ruin everything that you have going on. You have to move different. You just have to. You just have to just ignore it completely. <clears throat> and, and I'm saying this because that's what I would have done if I was Mick. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, but obviously I'm not Mick, so, you know. Yeah. I also heard Benny Siegel say this week, like, he can't meet some slack because he was saying, like, Meek is like the one from Philly who left, who who made it out of Philly, basically, mm-hmm. but is still actively trying to help people in Philly. 100%. Like, there's so many actual famous people or successful people out of Philly, but once they leave Philly, that's they it. don't go back. That's it. They're not, yeah, they're not like, trying to... Everybody in Philly that's trying to come up now is trying to be a dream chaser or, or like, looking to meet for the handout, but, like, you can't put that much pressure on one person. That's true. But what does that got to do with this conversation? I feel like Meek is slowly trying to embrace that role. Oh, yeah, 100%. And he's doing great at embracing yeah. the role. But it's just that, like, you have to think about the optics of certain one isolated situation ruining a whole legacy. Because yeah, that's, that's happened to artists before. Obviously, this situation, I don't think, has ruined his legacy. Or oh, is even even gonna make it dent to it. But I feel like people would respect Meek more if we had seen a video of him just walking away. Yeah. As opposed to him just saying some shit. Do you know what I mean? Like and then now he's a meme with like the Hawaiian shirt and the fucking hat and do you get what I mean? Like obviously that's what Six Nine's <laughs> intention was. Like no yeah. matter what happens, all I need is a reaction. Some kind of reaction. Exactly. Yeah. If you give him zero reaction, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying... I, I understand, like, he he does have a lot on his back. Like, that nigga back must be fucking hurting. He has a lot on his back. And that's, you know, that's just one side of his life. And he's also got, the you know, the prison stuff, dealing with the law and all of this shit. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? And shout out to Jay-Z, man. People like Jay-Z are vital to the culture. Let me just put it that way. Just vital. And everyone agrees. But anyways, so that was um the Valentine's story about Meek Mill and 6 9 Any updates, please e- email us. We probably wouldn't read the email, but just email us about it anyways. So, um, talking about Valentine's really quickly. Actually, I almost forgot. Guess where Abdul spent his Valentine's Day? Where? Do you remember a certain woman called Amberly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, way. And he bought gifts and everything, right? Took it to her house, mm-hmm. hoping it was going to, you yeah. know. <laughs> but her dad was there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he wouldn't even let him in. No way. He has to change his name. He can't be star player anymore. No, he he's can't. not playing nothing. This guy is star benching. He's like what? <laughs> he is down bad. God damn! What he told me today because it was his birthday on Monday. Yeah, yeah. So. Obviously Monday everyone's working in it, like we can't really all meet up. So I went I went over today in it earlier. And he told me that and it was just so funny. Like I was just laughing for so long. I was like, that's peak, bro. Like I wanted to call him, but I'm not gonna call him. <laughs> I'd rather just laugh at him yeah, behind him his back. In it. Exactly. Jesus. Exactly. Oh my god. Anyways, fam, I'd rather be alone than than yeah, that's killing. To be honest with you, nowadays I don't f- really feel too great about spending with women, you know. Why not? Just because, like, even women that are my friend, just because, like, they don't, re- they don't reciprocate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, because I don't have a problem, and initially I didn't have a problem with doing this mm-hmm. because you just kind of like we've spoken about this before. You just kind of like grew up with that mentality. You know, especially if you if you're from an African household, right? So, 
lately I've just been realizing, all right, cool. I've got friends with girls. I buy them coffee sometimes. I buy them lunch, whatever. Like, but I never get that treatment. And I brought up the other day, and she's like, "Well, you're a man." I'm like, "So? so? I'm not your boyfriend." <laughs> like, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fuck? Like, <laughs> do you get me? Like, but anyways, that's just yeah. That's just why. Anyways, moving on. Big Bezos. Big Bezos is back. Oh, the man himself. The Big Bezos. I told you guys. I told you guys. But to be honest, let's cut Elon Musk some some slack. The stock went down, didn't it? Oh. The stock went down. So Wait, Tesla stock? Yes. Oh, there's one guy that's been betting for so long. Oh, <coughs> on he's Tesla? Up. He's up. <laughs> he's been betting that Tesla's oh he's up he's up up he's up up, he's up, up. but basically Tesla's, Tesla's stocks went down 2.4% can't remember exactly what day it was and this man lost 4.5 billion dollars some people like not even some people majority like okay let's be honest about 80% of people living in the world would never see that type of money yeah, yeah. He lost and didn't even fucking flinch. Fuck. <laughs> he lost and he was like, right, cool, you know, we move on. And Bezos is only one billion ab- above him. <coughs> yeah, but Bezos would have been quite above him if That's he didn't That's true, get the most. but he did. That's true. <laughs> That's the thing. That's like, it's not his no more. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's his wife's. Do you know what I mean? So, Elon's like, cool, no problem. Anyways, let's see. How, let's see how this world reaches. But do you, do you know what I clocked as well? The because f- I, I was I I researched this because I thought this was quite very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think this was gonna be like flung flung Do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I researched it to see the numbers. The top three are very close, and the fourth is like half of what the, the top three have. Damn. Who's <laughs> well, number three? So I can't remember. Actually, we could just bring it up. I can't remember who number three is. But it's someone it's someone that we know. Bill I think Bill Gates is like a number five. And um the niggas that do Google, they're like number six and seven, some shit like that. World's richest man. That's imagine having a hundred and ninety-one bees. Cause that's what um Jeff has. That's his worth. One hundred and ninety one. And Elon has 190. That is crazy. And the person in number four has like 90 something. <laughs> I'm just like, God dang. I can't remember who it was. I think it was you that we were having a conversation <clears throat> about something. And you said, oh, I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, who is it? What's his name? Bernard, no, Bill Gates is number three. God damn. How did I not remember that? Oh, yeah, it would be Bill Gates, wouldn't it? Of course, yeah, of course it's Bill Gates. <clears throat> God damn. Shit, how much is Bill Gates? 100, no, 91. So, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry. Them two have double <laughs> what the third person. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the third person is that has? a black guy over there? Ooh, ooh, is that a black guy? No, that's not a black guy. Oh. That's some Spanish don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it. His skin looked a little bit olive. You thought it was black. Nah, it's not a black don't. But don't worry, we're gonna be there soon. Damn. We're gonna be there, don't worry. And it's big and it's, it's more it's more than this now. This is a this is actually old. Cause this says 188. He's he's on 190 now. And base is only 191. <sighs> but anyways, that's nuts. That's a lot of fucking money. Yeah. That is a lot of fucking money. Anyways. Bro, if you tax those top 10. Yeah, you could. You could feed the world. Though. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> so and you don't have to tax them that high. <laughs> somebody <laughs> has some explaining to do. Yeah. 10%. But... but Fam, you didn't even have to give it. You it's not, think about this. So it has a hundred and ninety-one billion. Ten percent of that is one point nine one billion. One percent of that is one hundred and ninety-one million. All you need is one percent, or even zero point one percent. 
and you'd be good to be able to feed people for a good couple of years. But capitalism doesn't work like that. That's the thing. <clears throat> capitalism doesn't give a fuck if you're if you're you know poor. They just tell you work harder. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's it. Anyways, talking about Bill Gates. Billy's out here wilding again. So the other day, I was on Twitter. Mm-hmm. This was like last week. And I saw that Bill Gates was trending. And I'm like, who's talking about Bill Gates? Like, I, because, you know, I'm normally like watching out what's fucking going on in social media, blah, blah, blah. I haven't seen anyone say anything. Because normally when Bill Gates is trending, it's either he says some mad wild shit about women that he thinks is okay to say. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't know until someone was like, mm, goddamn, <laughs> nigga. Or he's trying to kill everyone. Like, trying to be like, oh, no, take this vaccine. It'd be good mm-hmm. for you. Oh, but you yeah, might yeah. die. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the death part. It's all good. Or it's trying to save African <coughs> kids, but really killing them. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, shit like that. But anyways, I clicked on the thing, and I saw that, oh, Bill Gates wants us to... I mean, he said, Bill Gates wants to save the world. I'm like, huh? wait, well, hold on. The Superman? <laughs> what? What? Um, that's interesting. Bill Gates wants to save the world. Cool. Click on it. Like, let's see what's what going on with Bill Gates. You know, my guy Billy. So apparently Bill Gates wants us to eat synthetic beef because he thinks that because we live in the richer countries, we should stop eating actual beef to save the planet and eat beef that they make up in a lab. And I was like, oh, okay, mm. cool. He's talking to y'all, not really me. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, he ain't talking to me. Like, I'm not really in that bracket. Like, I don't even eat beef. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't need no beef. You're going to be eating this, the, 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 the synthetic beef. Well, if you buy your beef from Tesco, <laughs> you're already eating synthetic <laughs> Fam, that's what I was thinking, you know. Niggas are already probably eating yeah, probably. the synthetic fucking beef. I mean... Your niggas ate horse meat <laughs> for months. Months. <laughs> and your niggas did not know. They should have been finished. I know, and they still fucking exist. Yeah. That's, that tells you how powerful companies are over the yeah. government. If the government was to do some shit like that, you think they still fucking exist? No. But... Oh, I mean, it was still... The whole concept of government would still exist, but the person... That's there in charge in the administration and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't. Fam, I yeah. thought about it. Because I thought about not eating meat. And wh- how do you feel about that? If Veganism a... is the future. Y'all yeah. niggas need to wake up and see. How, how much does that cost you to be vegan? Though? But the thing is, you say that, I don't spend as much money as people that eat meat on food. I swear to God. It's way cheaper because do you know what it is? Before I turned vegan, I used to think that as well, it's expensive. But that's fucking lies. That's just the meat. Okay, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I believe in this conspiracy. But sometimes they push that shit because they don't want you to turn vegan so that you don't stop buying, so that you don't decide to stop buying meat. Do you get what I mean? Because mm-hmm. obviously it's a big industry. <clears throat> then I turned vegan and I realized that Everything that I eat is the same thing that meat eat is eat apart from the meat. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so I don't have to buy yeah, meat. What do I eat meat? <laughs> you eat with some type of sauce, carbs, yeah, right? Yeah. And all of that's vegan. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just don't eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then I thought about it, it's like the habit of eating meat. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying because yeah. you're so addicted to it. But the funny thing is, if... People had to kill it themselves. They wouldn't. I doubt a lot of people... Exactly. Would they wouldn't. Yeah. Which is why I respect the Africans and all of those countries where they actually killed the beef Animal, yeah, yeah. that they're going to eat. Because they're doing that for survival. They're not doing yeah, it because, yeah. oh, yeah, now nah, you know. Like, I mean, to a certain extent, they're doing it for survival. To a certain extent, it could be a different mentality. Yeah. yeah. But the white man was the one that taught them how to do that. Like, everything starts with the white man. I mean... We could change our mentality. That's I, what I'm saying. I thought about it. I was like, could I kill the animal to then eat it? Have you never done that before? No. 
Oh shit, you never killed an animal before. Oh shit, nigga, I killed a chicken before. You killed a chicken? Yes. They run around after their heads are yeah. caught. Yeah, that's crazy. But this one didn't have time to run around. You slap it on the floor. <laughs> You're really biting it. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Man, nah, nah. Nah, just man, just nah, man, had, man had the wing, man had the wing clipped already. Not oh, clipped, shit. but just yeah. tied together already in that. Like, you get me? It wasn't moving on me. And I must have been like six, seven, something yeah, like yeah. that. Really young. Yeah, I thought about it and then I was like, <clears throat> It's really weird. You know what? If I was hungry, I'd do it. So I'm just going to eat. Yes. Oh, it was actually a traumatizing experience. Now that I think about it. Fam. Yeah, but you always get those people that live in like countries where animals walk around or there's farms and they're like, I had a pet chicken. <laughs> yeah, and then, <laughs> and then, and then one, one day. day. <laughs> <We're gone>. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you was eating them for like, dinner. Like, yeah, I'm the chicken. And they're like, okay, mom, I'm going outside to play with. And uh, your mom's like, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I decided to play with ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is traumatizing. Now I can understand that. A whole best friend. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should I should be laughing. That is so mean. <laughs> <laughs> but that is so funny. Nigga said, Mom, I'm going outside to play with Chick. Chicken Little fam. You, you done already ate Chicken Little. Fam. Nigga. God damn, shit. Oh, anyways, talking about little things and small things of such nature. There's a little nuance that I notice on social media that most people might not pick up on. But I just want to say this. Shade Barra, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on Shade Barra. Back at it again? Back at it again. Because guess what they did? What? They posted a video. I'm going to try to find it. But obviously I'm not going to play. It's not that deep. They posted a video of Dutcha Valley, right? <clears throat> In Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And said, Oh, looks like Dutcha Valley is living it up. In Jamaica. What did I say was going to happen last week? What did I... Not last week. We, right, the week before. Two weeks ago. Two yeah. weeks ago. Uh, and I commented on the... Like, I went on there and commented... Um, listen to real media and stop listening to biased media. Just look at the... Co- look, look, listen to what we said and listen to the caption that they put up on the same video that we saw. Because that's the same video that I saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and I'm like, what the fuck? And also as well, he's been in Jamaica since the fucking pedophilic <clears throat> accusations. You guys never post th- thought to post him then and say, oh, why is he in Jamaica? You never thought to go, oh, are we taking this seriously? What's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. do you care about child rape or, ch- or children being taken advantage of? Mm-hmm. Like, what kind of morals do these niggas have? Is my question. Um, like what the actual fuck like I don't know bro I don't know to be honest with you with the type of shit at the post they're always really good with like keeping you aware with current affairs but with the type of shit that they promote some, I'm, it's a little bit questionable on their page they're trying to stay on both sides <clears throat> of the fence yeah <clears throat> they are trying to stay on both sides actually are, are they though yeah, because they post... always just post dramas, like. Nah, they'll post the. Uh, uh, stop posting. They'll post the people that, like, bouncer that will say, like, we need to stop promoting absolute nonsense. Like, mm-hmm. you need to hold your friends accountable. And then they'll still post. And they'll post Dutch Valley yeah, saying, I didn't do that or whatever. All, right, all I'm saying is, like, even niggas that try to stay on the fence you need to be worried about. Like, this is cl- this is cut clear. Like, you can... I'm not saying they have... I have an issue with them posting a video of him at all. But don't caption it as, oh, no, why well, you lot have been stressing? He's been having a good time. Yeah. Like, the fuck? Like, come on. This is serious. Like, clear your name and then, yeah, you can we can watch you having a good time. We don't want to see you having a good time. Sorry. I don't want to see that. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. At all. But 
to be honest with you, all of this shit that's been happening just makes me f- feel like he did it. Like, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not saying that it conclu- conclusively. Maybe this is just bad handling. Yeah. And he's not actually innocent. But the optics are that. And if you did, just come out and just put your hand up and get some help. Because I don't want it to be five years from now, we have to report about this again and then say, oh, we should have been awake we, when this was... Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. do you know how many stories... Like, did, I saw the, um, the fucking Jimmy Savile documentary on BBC mm-hmm. and they was talking about, oh, oh listen to the telltales. Oh and I'm like, this nigga worked for you guys for 15 fucking the years. Like, you we, knew. Women know too much. Yeah. I'm not for girls that You know knew much. exactly yeah, what yeah, yeah. he was doing. Like, I hate... We all knew Jimmy Savile. That was a joke, oh. like, in school. Like, Jimmy Savile. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 Like, your niggas knew. You let him... You, you, you paid him. You didn't give a fuck. The same thing with, with this... With this... Bra- uh, with this um, channels. Like, Shade Borough. Yeah, yeah. It's probably... Trying to, you know... Preserve relationships so business and... Business can come in in the future. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But where where does your moral lie? Because when you're doing biz, when you're doing business, you have to have trust for the person you're doing business with. You trust someone that does that to kids, or allegedly does that to kids because I don't want to put that on him straight away. People lie where the money lies. I I just I don't know. My conscience wouldn't. We can't be surprised that. at this shit anymore. I'm not surprised at it, but I just don't want to be one of those outlets. That's just like five years from now going, oh my God. Because five years from now, when your niggas are going, oh my God, we should have known. I would pull back this fucking clip and said, you fucking knew and ignored it. It's not, you should have known. You knew and ignored it. Say that. There's a difference. Anyways, we can move on. It's just, I'd be passionate about this media yeah. shit, man. It's, I just It's better to apologize for being... Harsh on the accused side. Exactly. Than to, like, apologise for blaming the victim. Fam, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Talking about people that I got beef with. <clears throat> Guess who's back on Colours? On Colours? By themselves. Any? Doing what? Doing... Taking the advice that we gave her. The same song? Not the same song. Oh, I was about to cry. El- <laughs> Imagine the same song. Bro. Now, now <laughs> Amir Brave is the background singing. <laughs> That'll be funny. Damn. But it's a different song. Is it? Not as good as as um yeah, yeah. the other song, but it's, it's she's still fucking sick. I have to give it to her, she's sick. And I said to myself, I was never I was not gonna speak about her. Until her see, I see her do something that I feel like, okay, cool, this helps her career. Like, this is a good move for her. So, shout out to her. Shout out to her. I hope she's been handled properly and I hope she's not been, you know, fucked. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, I, like, I was more pissed at um, Levi Jeans than I was at her. I wasn't pissed at her. Like, I mean, I was, I was pissed at the move, but I, was, I wasn't pissed as... At her as an artist, because mm-hmm. I like her music. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to support people that don't want to help themselves. Yeah. Because I've done that for a lot of artists from the UK, and eventually they stop releasing music because eventually it catches up with them, and they can't release, they can't keep up with that. You yeah. know what I mean? Because they're not they, the whole time they haven't been re- making the right moves. Yeah. So w- why am I investing myself in I, you? <clears throat> I think so. Um, the any situation, I I still believe it was some bad timing. Oh no, one hundred percent. Bad timing as well. <clears throat> but like, I think bad timing mixed in mixed in back bad marketing. Yeah. Because market placement has a lot to do with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's not a problem to have someone else on the song who's a bigger artist help you. Because a lot of people thought what I was saying is, oh, don't let Judge Smith be yeah, on the yeah. song because she Judge Smith. No, what I was saying is, look at how Judge Smith is represented. Look at Judge Smith's career. And what she's pushed in her career. She's clearly just using your song because that's what's hot at the moment. You know, picking up black women, blah, blah, blah. Which is also cool, but it doesn't make sense. 
Do you get what I mean? Like, if, say, for example, it was, I don't know, Miss Banks that jumped on the song. Yeah. <clears throat> Perfect market. Miss Banks has had so many songs about being black girl. So many bars about being a black girl. Do you get what I mean? That makes sense. People love that. Black women support you even more. Your career is skyrocketing. That's that's what I was saying. I'm saying I was saying I was saying this move helps Georgia and handicaps you. Yeah. You can't make moves like that if you if you're hoping to have this as a career that lasts a long time. And sometimes I feel like UK artists don't pay attention to that and they just straight away just go, oh, this is a big name, let me just jump on it. Do you get know what I mean? Like, we need to think a bit more. It's not, don't do the big name thing. Yes, do it. But if it makes sense for you, then, if it yeah. actually helps, think about it. Does it help me? Because with that saga, a lot of black women stopped supporting her. Like, she still has people listening to her music, of, of course, and she's still sick. So, let's see what she does next. <laughs> Let's see. And next time on any integrity situation. I wanna um I wanna hear a mixtape from her. From I'll Ellie. be honest, yeah. Like I haven't really been listening to her singles like that, but this but when I saw it on colours, I clicked on it and it was fire. I was like, alright, cool, this was fire. Not too much of as a song, but really more as a freestyle. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was fire. Anyways, talking about some talking about um things that are fire. The new Tracy Picker is back. <laughs> I didn't watch that. I didn't know that. I didn't watch it. <laughs> to BBC One. No, what was it? BBC three. You can now tune in with your daughter, your son, your father, your grandfather, mother and cat, and watch Tracy Picker for the thirty fifth time. Right after EastEnders for the 63rd time. Yo niggas enjoy. Anywho's. So, um. It was the biggest, um, BBC debut. Oh, oh my God. God. Guys. I don't want to slander BBC because they're so huge. But the viewership is not as big as. Yeah, it was only 1.2 mil. No. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. But it's not as big as... Like, just think about it. Seven million people live in London. That's a Burner Boy video. Exactly. Yeah. Like, your artists have more power than them. Mm -hmm. Just put it that way. Burner Boy videos aren't even doing just that. They do more than that. Yeah. Just put that into perspective. Like, I'm not... Okay, let me stop talking about BBC because I know their power in it, so... (laughs) Anyways. Over the weekend... Shall I say? Not over the weekend. Over the week. Yeah, because today is Monday. So over the weekend, right? I was just scrolling. And I see my girl, Leomi Anderson. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that um model that I showed you? Yeah. From mobile? Yeah, obviously she's, she's memorable. Anyways. So it's her birthday. So 20, she's 20 something, 28, something like that. Hold on. Yeah, so 28th birthday, right? And I'm scrolling, I'm like, oh, she's she's so cute, she's so beautiful, do you know what I mean? Like, amazing birthday surprise, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, hold on, hold on, who's that, who's that nigga behind the camera? <laughs> who's, who's that, who's that nigga behind the camera? Like, wait, 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 hold on. who's who's that nigga on her face? Like, what's, what's going on? Mm-hmm. What's, I thought she was mine still. Uh. Like, that's, that's, that's what I thought. That she was mine. But. <sighs> She's not. Mm. Yep. Like Valentine's Day couldn't get any worse. Yeah, it's a rough day for my niggas. <laughs> like, rough day. Rough day. Guess who the nigga was? Who? As like on top of all of that. Oh no. Have you heard AJ of... Tracy? Mm, no, oh no. That was a callback Tracy. for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. AJ is never gonna do that to me <laughs> twice. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure he was not even away. He did that to me once already. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's even the saddest part. That's the saddest part. But anyways, <coughs> have you heard of a nigga called Lancy Foe? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <here. laughs> You're right here. 
<laughs> exactly. That's the thing that you're weird. <laughs> you're a hater. <laughs> this guy is a hater. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Lancey. Like, Skepta fucks with him as well. Yeah, yeah. That's why That's why I'm so surprised that... No, like... He's like... To be honest with you, his style is kind, is is completely unique. Mm-hmm. So it's like a acquired taste type of thing. Yeah, like, yeah. for example, the first time you listen to Young Fog, you, you're probably like, "What the fuck is this shit?" And then eventually you're like, "Oh, this is fucking." This fire. Exactly. I feel like he's like that, and a lot of people from the UK don't normally, you know, support. Then they don't normally get into your music unless you're like. Hot just straight Already, away. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Like, so that's why people don't know him. So I don't want to put it out there like I feel like he's actually trash. I don't mm-hmm. think he's actually trash. Some of his songs I'm not for me because he'd be experimenting a lot and shit. Yeah. But come on, that's a nigga you with? Really, Lancey? <clears throat> All right, let me let me calm down because maybe we can still make this work. <laughs> We could, Leo, me, we could still make this work. Come on, babe, Leo, come on. I know you're hearing this. Come on, he's a nigga, Leo, man. He's way too skinny, man. I know he's not doing you right. Can that nigga, like, I bet you be lifting him up. Like, he's mad skinny. I bet she be lifted. Anyway, let me just move on. I'm, I'm starting to sound like a hater now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see? Like nigga can't see niggas can't vent in peace. That's what I realized. Women have their girls they could talk to. They will chat shit about so many chat different shit. bitches, yeah, so yeah. many niggas. Their friends will be there listening. Niggas can't chat. Oh, you're a hater, dog. No, you're like, a hater. That's hating. He's hating. That's hating. You're right. He's Speaking hating. of unique flows, yeah. Slow Tide debuted at number one. We did. See niggas stealing my. <laughs> Nick niggas stealing my um. My, my, my topics. Oh, like. shit, you, that was a, oh, yeah, you have to, yeah, you have to have that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, he debuted, yeah, actually, yeah. Good, good segue, yeah, good he segue. He debuted, yeah, he debuted at number one. Um, but he, okay, it was amazing, good stat. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, helps sell record, but honestly, really and truly, he didn't have a competition. He didn't have good enough competition. This week? This week, yeah. No one else dropped. Oh, yeah, that's true. No one else. That's the only thing, time. exactly. No, the only thing that dropped was um, Abra's like Valentine's, but that was like an EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As like an EP, and in the middle of the week, there was an article that came out about this, right, saying he was number one, mm-hmm. and I checked it out, and the chart sales was four thousand copies. Four thousand copies. Yeah. Physical copies. Everything. <laughs> Everything copies. What? <laughs> Yeah, that's like I'm not trying to hate or nothing, and also as well that was midweek, so oh, it's yeah, not yeah. like that's it's not the whole week. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? So towards the end of the week, I'm pretty sure it ramps up because promotion goes up yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Blah blah blah. The weeks about to go, blah. Do you get what I mean? Like you know. <clears throat> so I'm still waiting for the actual numbers. Numbers to come out. Yeah. Um, but I, if we were to predict, how much do you think is gonna sell? First week. Just first week. Oof, I'm and think about it. This is the UK. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. Market. So it's not going to be no crazy numbers like the Americans be doing. Yeah. Anyways. That's why I wasn't that mad at 4,000 midweek. Like, I was like, okay, cool. That's that's peace. Like. I'll say. I'll go for a solid. I'll, I'll give him 10. 10? I'll give him 10. 10, 10K? Yeah, I'll give yeah, him 10K. Yeah, he could do 10K. I was gonna go a bit higher. <clears throat> I was gonna go like fifteen. Yeah. My like, average is normally like twenty five. Yeah. But because it's UK, I'm considering. Yeah, because um, yeah, what I realized is that like, I might not want to give away this source, but but let's just say this anyways, because a lot of niggas that probably won't even know how to use it. Anyways, so in in America in the media, they talk about numbers because it helps quantify and. Visualize mm-hmm. hierarchies between rappers. Yeah, I realize in the UK we don't do that no. at all. We don't even talk about sales at all. That it's one. very important because a lot of niggas are fooling a lot of people. We're not going to say none. I'm just saying a lot of niggas. If all your songs are on GRM. <laughs> 
you are not selling that much. At all. <laughs> At all. Like, a lot of niggas are fooling a lot of people. Yeah. I think a lot of people in the UK make money off tours. Yeah. And a lot of niggas make a lot more money than a lot of people think. Yeah. That also as well. Like, I was shocked. Some names, mm. like Akala. Yeah. A lot of people don't mention him, but he be making... The people that actually make money are on tours. Like, I'm talking about people buying his, his records, not even just tours. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Like, he has a... I don't, I don't, maybe he has a cult fan base or something yeah. because i never seen him on the charts or anything like that, but he he began sales. Damn. Yeah. I was shocked as well. I was like, a, a color? But also as well, like, book sales also. So, I'm just like, God damn. Anyways. <clears throat> um, since we're kind of talking about Valentine's Day and all of this, actually, let me not link this with Valentine's Day. Should I? <clears throat> no, it's gonna sound wild. Let me not link it with Valentine's Day. Um, <coughs> so, um, my third baby mother, or well, future baby mother, because she doesn't have any kids. That's true. So, in the future, we're gonna be co parenting. It's gonna be amazing. Bad girl Riri on Instagram, you can find her there. Mm-hmm. Broke the motherfucking internet, <sighs> fam. I was um in the middle of walking in the streets, and I stopped. In, right in the middle of the street, when I saw this picture, of <sighs> Riri with her hands over her boobs, and I was very, 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 very impressed with how big her boobs are. I didn't. I'm being serious. I didn't know that her boobs were that nice. Seriously. Niggas. Niggas. No, no, but I'm being I'm being serious though. Wild. Like, I stopped, and then there was a car that almost hit me, but, like, I was like, nigga, go around. <clears throat> Riri just dropped Yeah, this fucking picture. Fucking what the fuck are you talking about? Fucking hell. Goddamn. Goddamn. God motherfucking damn. I still need the music, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm over the music now. Like, not that I'm over that I don't want to hear any. Yeah, yeah. I'm over waiting for any music. Yeah, waiting of for Of course, it. I want to hear some new Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Like every time she's in a feature, I'm like fiending for it. But I want to act too cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man, just just drop that whenever you feel like it. You know what I mean? I know Fenty going wild. <clears throat> Fenty beauty. Talking about Fenty actually. By the way, that picture of Rihanna, um, is one that we should put up in a museum somewhere because this is a very rare occasion, and yeah, I think Rihanna did this for us. Yeah, for the man for, them. Yeah, for the man them that didn't have any Valentine's. Valentine's yeah, yeah. yeah, she did this for us. She knew what she was doing. And we 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 want to thank you from the bottomest part of our heart, Rihanna. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. You are loved, respected, and you will always succeed in anything. And for the man that did have a girl on Valentine's. This is not for you. If she nah, wait. <laughs> wait. If your girl didn't buy you anything, oh go ahead and like this picture. Yeah. Like and it. then leave your phone and leave unlocked. a comment. Leave it unlocked and just leave it there. Just leave mm. it there. But we don't have to leave it unlocked. Bitches got burner accounts. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> like if you think your girl don't have a burner account following you, right now, fam, you're you're confused. You're confused as fuck. Anywho's talking about Fenty, I saw somewhere where like. Apparently, some news came out about LV... I think they're called LVMH or LMVH, something like that. They're this fashion company and they own all the big brands. Mm -hmm. So, Balmain, Gucci, Fendi, Fenty, fucking all of them are owned by one company. Yeah. You know that, right? Apparently, they decided to discontinue Fenty. Apparently. I didn't read too much into the news. Yeah. Because when I looked at it, I tried to research it. I couldn't find it anywhere else apart from on that article. <laughs> so I was just like, this doesn't seem like yeah. it's real. No. And then a few days after that, bare news came out everywhere about how Fenty is now worth a billion dollars as a company. Yeah. Of selling makeup and lingerie. God. What a woman. 
Wait, so... <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. I think someone was just hating and they, did, they yeah, decided to, to put a bullshit article yeah, yeah. on. So when I saw that, I was like, whoa, 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 what? Frenzy discontinued? What? Where am I going to get my, you know what I mean? The things mm-hmm. I be getting from my hoes and shit like that. Like, where am I going to get that from? You mad. But, you know, I don't think that's happening. Because the company is now valued at one billion dollars. So let's um, give it up for real now. Yeah, all the... Well done. Well done. That's all, my baby mums. All the girls that were like... Go, what was it? What was it? Pre- mm-hmm. Was it Pretty Little Thing? No, it wasn't Pretty Little Thing. What was the one that every girl was an ambassador for? Um, Fashion Nova. Fashion yeah. All of them are Fenty <clears throat> ambassadors. Oh. Yeah. But she's doing it the right way. Yeah, yeah. Because number one, Fenty is by a black woman. Mm-hmm. Number two, um, Fashion Nova is owned by a black. I mean, not black. White people. We don't know who they are. We don't see their faces. We know Rihanna is the one getting all this money from all of this social media, I guess, collaborations with these creatives. And I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Like, because as a creative... Honestly, <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to start doing what these companies are doing. Let's not think, oh, yeah, no, we're limited to not be able to do that just because they're a company and we're just creatives. You can yeah. hire people. You can do that, yeah. Yeah. You can hire people. That's exactly what they do. Because they have no idea either. They hire people to tell them what to do. <laughs> like, And if you're a creative and you have enough money, you can do the same thing. So I'm, I'm not mad at Rihanna at all. So congratulations to Rihanna and... I think I'll be putting the picture in my wallet. What do you think? Was it too much? Too much. No? Yeah? Too much. All right, how about just like framed in the wall? Something like that? No. No? You have to have but it as a phone background. Oh, phone background. Yeah. I know, but like... I don't want people to think I'm a creep. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop while I'm gonna stop whiling. But Rihanna's boobs, goddamn, fam! I could sleep on Rihanna's boobs all day long. Forget about working. Calm down, relax. I'm just saying, I could. Crazy today. I like, I could. Yo, a lot happened this week. A lot of things happened this week, and also f- talking about like women in relationship. B Simone was here to tell y'all bitches about the real. And, and, y'all bitches need to listen. For all the women on our podcast, probably going to be one or two of y'all. Hey, sis. We love you. This is some real time, real shit. So listen up. We got all these things we want in a man. A list of things. He got to be tall. He got to be dark. He got to be handsome. He got to have pretty teeth. He got to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. He got to be rich. He got to be successful. He got to be all these things. And we ain't even had the things on that list. He got to be a family man. Bitch, you ain't talked to your mama in six months, but you want him to be a family man. He got to be financially stable. Your account is in the negative, ma'am. Overdraft fees. He got to have a job. You need to go fill out some applications because you're still unemployed. He got to have pretty teeth. You ain't seen a dentist in six years. He got to have a six pack and be in shape. You can't even walk up a flight of stairs without huffing and puffing. Get your life together. That is very true. And that's the paw. That is the most true. A lot of women are mad unhealthy. Not a lot of women are mad unhealthy. A lot of women that are mad unhealthy. Yeah. Want a man who has a six part, six, six part, six pack. Um, bitch, that's not happening. So, yeah. I'm not doing all that work in the gym for you to just eat donuts all day and then, like, that's true. give me some average pussy. <laughs> like sorry that's not happening uh, that's another person though B Simone who's making a lot of money from makeup shout out to B Simone you know you're doing your thing anyways women have been catching flack this week they have they but they're have not, they're not ex- absorbing it they're I know it. I know but that's the thing with, that's the thing with women though they don't know how to take criticism yeah. that's what I've realised Women and criticism does not go hand in hand. No. And the thing that annoys me is like when I criticize a woman, even if she's my friend or not, right? She'll, she'll be mad at me criticizing her, take my advice, and then not say thank you. <laughs> I 
I'd be so tight. But I'd be like, you know what? It's cool. That's what they'd be doing in it. Like, it's just, I guess, female ego, pride or whatever. Whatever the fuck it is. So shout out to all of you women who actually do appreciate men such as I, who is intelligent enough to tell you, you know, some of your mistakes. Anywho's. So talking about, um, today was really sunny, right? Yeah. In the morning, yeah. Yeah. In the mo- like, even on, up until, like, maybe around 3, 2 o'clock. Like, it was really sunny. It was a nice day and shit. I was, like, honestly, I wish I had a fucking convertible car. Yeah, a lot of vitamin D was like, in the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah mad. Like, <clears throat> good day to... Drop, would have been... Good day to drop the top, yeah. Yeah. Would, pff, drop the top. Drop the top. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's that song by, um... By... What the fuck are they called? Migos. Drop top. Uh, da, 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 da. Raindrop. Raindrop. Drop top. <laughs> What's the song? What's the song? What's the song? Uh, drip. Dr- is that what's called? Cool? Drip. No, no, no. Just put no, drop no. top. Drop top. Nah, it's not coming up still. Slippery. No, what? no, no, it's not slippery. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, 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 um... Which you mean? But anyways, oh, you think I got left on bad and bougie? But, like, yeah, <laughs> bad and bougie. That's what I was like. How can we forget the fucking name of the song? It was like so big for so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, so um, bad and motherfucking bougie. Just quickly, just just. Young rich niggas, you know. So we ain't really never had no old money. Never. We got a whole lot of new money though. A lot yeah. of it, man. Hey! Raindrop. Drop top. Drop top. Smoking on cooking the hot box. Hot box. Drop top. Fam. So, man like Terry Lynn's pulled up to a basketball <laughs> game with a drop top. <laughs> My guy, Tori. <laughs> what's, go- what's going on with Tori, man? What's going on with Tori, man? Why is he like that, man? Why you do that? Why you gonna come out looking like that? You seen that, right? God damn. God damn. But um, I'm not mad because I think Tory Lanez is manipulating the internet. Yeah. I think it's fake. Tory is... <clears throat> He's fine. He's amazingly fine. He's fine. He's so fine... That Meg is looking like she's struggling. That's true. Like, I hate to say it, for a couple of weeks now, I was going to come in here and say it. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't want to because I love black women and I didn't want to make it seem like I am you know, don't want to support black women. So please go out there and stream Meg's album and, like, Hot Girl Summer Could Not Die. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. But on the other hand, it's really, it's really bad, actually, when you think about it. Actually, on one hand, it's bad, but on, on the other hand, is it? I'm starting to feel sorry for Meg, don't get right. Yeah, same. Right? And also as well, what really <clears throat> did happen? Did Why is he not really going to court? Like, what's, what's the update? I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, prayers go out to Meg The Stallion. Because, honestly, she looks like she's struggling a lot. Yeah. Like, with a lot. Career-wise, personal life-wise and shit. And Tory Lanez is just out here doing dumb shit, basically. <laughs> like, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not hating on the whole drop-top thing. Because I think what this nigga did... Because when you think about it, look at his hairstyle. It makes, at first, when I watched him, I mean, when I saw the picture, it was funny. But when I looked at it, and I was like, this makes no sense. Because... It wasn't the fact that he was bold. Mm-hmm. Of course, we have jokes about Tory Lanez's hairline, yeah, yeah. but his hairline was moving back. It wasn't. He yeah, didn't have bold spots. He, cool. <laughs> he was cool. Like then, then I was like, "Wait, hold on, hold on. This nigga's trying to trick us, like, because he knows that people are going to react to it. He's gonna yeah, trend, yeah. and then lo and behold, the Chris Brown video drops. 
Wait, what happened? Chris Brown video with Tory Lanez. They have a song together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drops. Yeah, that's true. Bare views. I'm yeah, like, oh, Tory is so smart. So smart. Almost had me. And you know, I've been a nigga that been trying to look out for the like, oh, right, this shit fake. It's a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? And some shit I'll be talking about like as if they're real as well. I know I'm fake. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, it's just marketing. But wow. Shout out to Relanes, I guess. Shout out to Relanes and shout out to Megan Stallion as well. Um, you know who I don't trust? Who? That nigga, the baby. Ooh. Tell us why. Because him and Tori had a video. Mm-hmm. And then people were saying, like, oh, the baby is siding with Tori versus Meg, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. And he had the excuse that uh, that video was shot ages ago. Yeah, he did. And then didn't but, speak on it at all. I don't feel like that video was shot that I long ago. I don't think it was shot when ages ago at all. Definitely was shot that video <clears throat> after this the Meg situation. Wait, 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 hold on. Is it the video is out? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. After all of that, the video came out anyways. It was already out, yeah. Oh, it was already out even yeah, yeah, when yeah. Terry was talking about yeah, it. Yeah, it came out. Man. Then I'm sure when uh, more of the Joe after. Budden podcast, you have to be responsible and not mm. clown Tory lanes like that. Maybe he didn't know, fair enough. But I didn't know the video was out. I just assumed it wasn't out. No, it was like, out. I, I assumed that the baby was like, no, nah, we're not doing that. No, it was out. Uh, people were like, oh, why is the baby in the video? Uh, hey. Eight. Oh man! Oh man! I feel like there's a bunch of people siding with Tory that just that I don't want to speaking about it. Exactly. Yeah. Bad people. But the thing is, I don't want to straight away talk about it as if Tory is guilty. I want to say why, though. Is it because okay? Let's put it in scenario. And all of this, by the way, before we start talking about it, it's just speculations. We have no information about anything. Please don't hold this or hold us accountable for shit. What if scenario A, Tori did that shit, but people realize that you can get more in you know, relationship wise, favor wise, blah 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 wise from Tori and that's why they're siding with him. Or scenario B Meg lied about that shit. Yeah. People realize or the artist realized, I'm not going to sever my relationship with Tori because I know that was a bait lie. The public might not know it's a bait lie at the moment, but eventually you're going to find out. So I'm still going to be siding with my guy that I know hasn't done that. That's the only two scenarios that I'm, I'm thinking about or I can think about in my head anyways about this fucking, this fucking situation. I hope it's not the first one, to be honest, because it would be better if she lied than if he actually did it. Yeah. I know that sounds bad because both of them are fucked, but one's like at least less less of both evil. Anywho, moving on. Shout out to Maggie Stallion. I hope you're doing good. I hope your mental health is amazing. And I hope that the help you need is the help you're going to be getting. <clears throat> Talking about sexual abuse. Oh, no, no. Sorry, not sexual abuse. Sexual assault, I guess assault, because that's what Tory Lanez was alleged. Tiggs, FK Twigs, not Tiggs. I was about to say Tiggs the author. FKA Twigs was recently on a TV channel. Oh, in America, yeah, and she. We good. Yeah. Okay. And she was detailing a story about her relationship with Shia LaBeouf. LaBeouf, LaBeouf, LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Right? I haven't watched the video, but I decided we can both watch it together. Yeah? Cool. All right. Let's get it up. No, not Wiley. Come on, Wiley. Right enough. Hi, 
having an argument with me in the middle of the night, start accusing me of doing all sorts of things, planning to leave him in my head. He'd wake me up and tell me I was disgusting, that I was vile. All the things that he was accusing you of were absolutely Gail, not wait, true. Wait, Nothing wait, was wait, ever oh true. Wait, wait, thing, wait, 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 wait. But I would really Gail doubt myself. Gail King? Bro, you know, I don't want to watch this. Especially when I'd like, wake up. Let's listen, listen. And he'd be listen, like, you listen, were lying listen. there with your listen. eyes open, planning to leave me. God and damn. I'd be like, I literally was asleep. But then he would, like, only want me to sleep naked because he said if I didn't, then I was keeping myself from him. So... You know, it's a tactic that a lot of abusers use. It's just this, like, constant availability and everything centred around them. And I think, you know, that's why I wanted to come out and talk about this, because the signs really are there from the beginning. So when did you think maybe there are some issues here, there's a problem? There, he would, there wasn't one set moment, but it's very subtle. That's the thing about you know, domestic abuse, domestic violence. It's a real gradual step-by-step -step process to get somebody to a place where they lose themselves so much they accept or feel like they deserve to be treated in that way. It's not one thing, it's loads of tiny little things that get sewn together into a... Damn. Shia LaBeouf, you ain't in trouble. First of all, I'm gonna take a breath. I love FKA Twigs music. <clears throat> music. I didn't know about her personality or who she is, and do you know what I mean? I just love her music. Yeah. But just watching this interview is the first time I've ever seen her talk. Like, I've never seen an interview of her. And she doesn't look like she's lying about this shit. I, I, I'm not gonna just make a conclusion based on yeah, what yeah. I've seen. But <clears throat> Damn Shia, what's going on? Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah he's in trouble. <laughs> Fam, if God forbid, God forbid, God forbid touch wood, I was in his position and even if I ain't do that shit, I am I'm shitting like, bricks I? right now. I'm like, when maybe I did wake up and was tell I her that. Trouble? Oh my god. Fam. Okay. Yeah. Prayers. <clears throat> Prayers go out to FKA Twigs. And I hope that her mental state is alright. And I hope that she um, gets the help that she needs. And gets better healing from such abuse. Yeah. Such alleged abuse. Now, I'm not going to make any conclusive decision right. whether he did or not. <laughs> Nigga, right. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me finish my statement and then you can get okay, yours off. Okay. I'm not going to make any conclusive ev evidence, any conclusive decision as to whether he abused her or not. Because that what she's described as mental abuse. And if he used to do that shit, yeah, yeah he yeah. has abused her. Like, what the fuck? That's fucked. Um, and that's how I'm gonna keep it. I I, I want to see more develop in the future yeah. about this. Anyways, I'm gonna say that, go. that um, FK Twigs. Yeah. From the way she was talking. Yeah. It seems like she. Out of all the people that have done this in the like the past two months. Yeah. I'll say like she's the one, where it seems like she's thought about it. She's gone through. Yeah. And she's actually, right. Yeah. That's why I was so shocked. That yeah, I was like, let's listen, had let's a listen. Discussion with herself. Self, yeah. yeah. And it comes across. But <clears throat> one day, maybe not today, <laughs> but one day we're going to talk about Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. And, and Gail. Gail, King. whatever her name is. <laughs> Gail King. Gail King. <laughs> yeah. And how? They have an agenda. Of course. And I they don't do. like it. Of course. They I do. don't like it. But at least this time he's a white man. <laughs> but he's still a man. I know, I know. But we can celebrate at least as a white man. What it ain't one of us this time. Maybe, I don't know. What else does Gail Scott do? I fuck white men. White men don't Sorry. care about us. What else does Gail King do? She, she, this is what she does. She's, she's like presents on CBS. But what like, does she Like does interviews do? and shit. I, I don't know Who behind does the scenes. she interview? I've never oh, seen it unless... and shit. Actually, I've never yeah, seen it point. unless... I've never seen her... Somebody's trying to get clapped. Yeah, that's true. Oprah, what does Oprah Winfrey do? 
interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> what does Oprah Winfrey do? Okay, I can still hear myself. Interview and <laughs> shit like that. I don't know, like she okay. Oprah hasn't done an interview in years. Okay. Because she's like super billionaire and Yeah, of course. Do you get what I mean? Mm-hmm. But she's best is with Gail. Mm-hmm. And the agenda of which you speak of, yeah, I am totally aware of. Mm-hmm. When are they going to interview Johnny Depp? <laughs> Can I be honest? Never. <coughs> when are they going to interview Ellen? Never. Yeah, you you're raising a very good point. You're right. You're right. You're right. They should definitely keep the bro. This, you know, the Have balance. They interview Dave Chappelle? No. They don't even care to interview Dave Chappelle. Bro. And a week after Kobe died, Gail King was wilding. Oh. Very, very much wilding. So, yes, that's when I started to notice that they do have an agenda. Yeah. Or Gail King, at least. Yeah, yeah. Oprah definitely has an agenda. She's, she's a super billionaire. Like, you never know where the fuck yeah, she yeah. is. She definitely got some agendas going up. Going on. On her schedule. But I don't want that point. That point you're completely right. But I don't want that to overshadow. What FKA Twigs might have gone through. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I mean? Because mm-hmm. we don't want to sound insensitive. But while that is right. Niggas like that will look at someone like FKA Twigs. And then use that to push the agenda. Yeah. So that both both things can happen at the same time. Do you get what I mean? That's true. So uh, that's why I'd like to keep up with this story and see what happens. If he did do it, though, are we not watching Transformers no more? Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, there's amazing movies. There's a couple of movies that I wasn't watching anyway. That's true. There's a couple, but there's a couple of movies that these niggas been in that was fucking fire. Yeah, yeah. That even yeah. Stevens movie is Yeah, a, is like, Look, if someone brings it on, you're going to be like, no, cover my eyes. Cover yeah. my eyes uh, right yeah, now. Or are you going to be like, ah, I mean, he did this before he oh. met FKA Twigs. Man. Like, I'm, I'm just proposing the question. Yeah. Are we going to do R. Kelly thing where we don't? Because the only person that that worked for was actually R. Kelly. That what? People not listening. Actually, a lot of people still listen to R. Kelly. That's a lie. Uh, in fam, yeah. uh, this is another thing with the OG or whatever. Brother, like... During that R. Kelly thing, I heard people like Charlemagne talking. Oh, uh, but I don't listen to Charlemagne, though. Bruv, I don't listen to Charlemagne. these men have been saying that again, this girl is him. underage for years. Mm-hmm. For at least Oh, years. Charlemagne's been saying that as well. Oh, yeah, or like... Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. For yeah. at least 10 okay, years. Okay, that part of Charlemagne, I, 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 I fuck with. Yeah, but they've been listening to his music. I know. Until... That part, I don't fuck with. So, <laughs> I got 10 years until I... Until I stop. <laughs> Because some of this shit is fire. I got 10 years until I stopped. <laughs> he said he it's, got 10 years. But that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, it's not, my, it's not our generation's job to cancel him. That was your thing. <laughs> so you didn't do it. So 10 years, then we... Oh, hold on. Are you talking about R. Kelly or you talking about Shia LaBeouf? You talking about R. Kelly? The R. Kelly situation. Oh, okay. You still got 10 years to listen. 10 years and then I, I can cancel him. Niggas are giving themselves 10. Yeah, because they got to enjoy it and they just ignored the tape. <laughs> so I'm going to live my life. I'm dead. Oh, shit. That is such a nigga analysis. Bro, right? they got time. They got that's their a, time. That's a nigga analysis. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, they had their time. Oh, oh, and that's the thing. I can't even say you're wrong. This is my time now. <laughs> because even during their time, they knew this nigga was pissing Bro, on... Bro, was going to the studio and he had a bed in there. Yeah. With a 15-year-old Bro, on the bed come on, that he's man. about to go into. Yeah, anyways, yeah, we're going to stop there. Your nigga's new. Your, the same thing, Jimmy Savile, your nigga's new. Sorry. Yeah. The same thing is going to be Dutch Valley, your nigga's new. That's just on this topic. Did you see the Michael Jackson? Oh, yes, I did. The nice. one that you sent me. Yeah, yeah. I did watch it. And, and I, that caught my attention, yeah. actually. I I already been known Michael ain't done he that didn't shit, do man. That shit, Come man. on, that nigga don't look like he he's so evil enough to go through with that yeah, and yeah. would never find out. Come on, like I know some niggas are good, yeah. but 
no matter how good you are, there's some telltales. Yeah, there's some things that yeah. you're just like, come on. Yeah. Michael just didn't have any of that. They were trying to get him. They were. They did They did everything. For bare long. That yeah. would, if, if he was doing it, at first it of all, the come FBI out. was like investigating for like 10 years. Yeah. If they had that, they would have unloaded that clip. Exactly. Fast. Fast. Exactly. And it wouldn't have taken them 10 years to grab yeah, that either. They would it's the FBI. Nigga, like they're in your they're in your phones, nigga. Like, do you get what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, it just doesn't make any sense that Michael did that shit, man. Yeah. Like, let's just and if, and also as well, like, I feel like sometimes the white hate the fact that Michael's originally black, and even after he changed his skin color, we still saw him as black. Yeah, yeah. I think they don't really like that, and he's the greatest, so they tried to carve out Elvis. <laughs> Elvis they try to be like, oh, look, over here, Elvis. If, if Elvis oh, was alive today, the king of pop. Gail King like, <laughs> would be interviewing someone about Elvis. That's the funny thing. Gail King would be on that. Fam, Gail King should be interviewing someone about Elvis. About Elvis. Fam. <laughs> let's, not, let's not even start. <laughs> it's a talking shit about Kobe Bryant. Interview someone about Elvis. That nigga was fucking with 12, 13 exactly. year old girls. The only like, person that's cool is Prince. Yeah. Yeah, nah, Prince That's about it. Yeah. Prince ain't doing none of that shit. Uh, mm. The blind nigga. Oh, uh, Ray Charles. Yeah. Yeah, nah, but that nigga was stopping bitch. <laughs> 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 they might have been overrated, but it was... <laughs> it was slapping bitches. Left, right, right and center. And he couldn't even see them. <laughs> you had to get in the way of the night. <laughs> I'm dead. Right. Okay, let's be serious. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's be serious because we just. All right. Oh okay, God. we just we just feel talking about some some um serious stuff. So let's be serious. <laughs> but um, what's his name? Actually, no. Nah, I was gonna say Roy Ayers was 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 cool as well, but I don't think he was. That nigga was having orgies every week, fam. Fam, these niggas from the seventies was nasty, fam. Disgusting. They was disgusting. The eighties and shit. Oh my God. That was nasty. But niggas got away with that shit. Anyways, what I was low-key trying to kind of find was the romantic, most romantic um, song that I've heard in a while. And I think you might agree. Um, so this song <coughs> was obviously made... I should just listen. I'm going to just write here. Sit a girl, take two, say... During these times, they tend to run from you. But deep inside, I'm who you want, boo boo. And in my mind, I'm the only one for you. Remember times we used to hunt too. Say in your spine, you can feel the rush, Jay Z. You know I like to make you my nut, baby. I'ma need a blunt for this, say crack the dirt, chewy. Even though I'm too young for this, I'll eat your butt, your booty. God I'm damn. I'm about my money that's <laughs> it. Hey, hey. I'm about my life that went. Hey, hey. I was out my mind, baby. Hey, hey. When the world my life when I can't believe I ran through right from love, yo, sweet love. Can't believe I really let the drugs get in between us. Life ain't slowing down for me at all right now. I'm saying. God damn. My oh, nah, I could be like, say in your spine, you can feel the rage. Casey. Ooh. I'm saying JT, KC, whichever one. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Hey. This nigga ain't even doing the girl he's trying to talk to. Hey, he's shooting his shot. Shooting his shot. <laughs> nigga like, whichever, you, whichever one of y'all want, get hey, his dick. Whichever Come one down. lands. <laughs> whichever one lands. Bro. God damn. And I was over here thinking he specifically sang, sang that for JT. But um, apparently it was for KC or JT. Hey. Whichever one of y'all. And um, he will 100%. Eat the booty yeah. as well. So, ladies, hit up um, Kodak Black. He's out of jail and ready for some booty eating like groceries. Yeah, the vocals were on point. On, I know. Yeah. And to be honest, that's why that's what I wanted to play it at yeah, first. Yeah. I, I didn't actually even pay attention to the lyrics initially. But yeah, I didn't know Kodak could sing like that. Yeah, Kodak is hard. 
I, of course, that's Kodak is hard. But then the thing is, sometimes he'd be using auto tune, so sometimes it's hard yeah, to yeah. tell on songs where he doesn't have auto tune on. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I mean? Because I'm, some of the early songs, I know he didn't have auto tune on it because his singing was good but not professional. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? So you could tell there's no auto tune on it. But obviously, ever since he started using auto tune, I can't tell anymore, like, you know, which one's like auto tune. Like, shout out to the engineer. God damn. Yeah, shout out to the engineer. But yeah, so in light of Valentine's, that was called a Black's Valentine's song to JT from City Girls, I guess. Right. Do you reckon this nigga is um, <clears throat> getting a bit desperate now? Who? Yeah. Kodak. I don't know, man. Actually, my shot at JT, not gonna lie. No, that's true. That's true. I'm not just saying now, but I'm saying just looking at this video, the Trump video, because it got a ring that says Trump, Trump ties. Traumatized? Trump ties. Oh, Trump ties. See, like, see, like, um, what was that? What was that Drake song? Mob ties. Oh yeah, yeah. It was Trump t- <laughs> Trump t- Was that before he went to jail? <laughs> no, this was after he got released. Because oh. Donald Trump patterned yeah, yeah. him, innit? Yeah, he got him. yeah, he got released, and then he got rings saying Trump ties on there, <clears throat> and he was bigging up Trump, saying he's a Trump supporter for life. Blah blah blah. Yikes. This time the third, and then this video, <clears throat> and then there was a couple other videos. <clears throat> excuse me. Where he's like doing charity work. Promising kids is gonna pay for their funds and yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like I'm like, I could I understand when the label is putting out press like that's what they're doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? It kind of seems a little bit forced. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What but a Kodak and JT relationship, I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad at that at all. Their kids would be so ratchet. <laughs> They'll have their cereal. With grapefruit soda. <laughs> every morning. Why are these niggas be doing that? Grapefruit soda with a cereal every morning. That's what their kids are going to be having. If, <clears throat> and honestly, that would be the most toxic relationship ever. JT and Kodak Black. Yeah. Can you imagine? Jesus yeah. Christ. I would never want to be around when they're fighting, fam. <clears throat> I'd just be out. Right. Anyways, even Kodak is out here trying to get some love. Everyone deserves some love, you know. <clears throat> I'm not mad at that. Right. Um, Talking about... Oh, shit. We probably should have talked about this, though. But we were kind of already talking about this. Talking about sexual allegations. You man, Marilyn Manson, fam. Yeah. I don't know why I called him your man, because he really is not your man. <laughs> like that. But um, he is being... Accused of some sexual allegations <clears throat> of how he used to keep women in his mansion, and he never drugged them, mm-hmm. but he didn't let them take drugs or alcohol. He wanted them to be, <clears throat> wanted them to be innocent and pure. Um, and I'm not sure whether they were underage or not either. I don't want, just want to throw that out there, but he's going for some sexual allegation shit, anyways. And how that was explained from who I heard it from, because I didn't read the article about this. There's so many sexual allegations nowadays. And I'm not saying they're all not serious. They are all serious and they all should be looked into. But this one felt a little bit different. Because it felt like it was all the girls that he had in his mansion, that everyone knew about that he had in his mansion. And I didn't hear anything about it being on the age either. <clears throat> because that would have pissed me off around right the back. Yeah, yeah. If I saw that. So I don't know. I don't really know that much information about this either. And this is a white man we're talking about. So I didn't really want to do that much digging. If they're saying, if this is coming out now, and it just happened like 20, 25 years ago, yeah. you know, this, this shit definitely happened. Yeah. <laughs> do you get what I mean? This shit definitely happened. Don't I don't need to do any more research but what i was thinking about was if it was the women that were in his mansion and they were underage did they not agree to do that in the first place and then regret it yeah yeah like and i'm not saying that if you're coerced into doing something it's your fault i'm just saying if you're fully able aware of what you're doing and you agree to do it should you be able to sue the guy after yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Man. Unless you were promised something. 
Yeah, I don't, unless you're a or something. What they're saying is he used to sexually assault them. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So that that leads me to think he used to rape them. But then there wasn't any clear, like... I didn't read the article, so I'm not going to say too much more about it. <clears throat> so, shout out to all the, all the victims. And I don't want to... I want to stop, like, not giving them the benefit, benefit of the doubt. Because I, I can understand how hard and how harsh that can be if you actually went through that shit. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So... What I'm going to say is I'm going to be responsible and research what these women have said. Do you get what I mean? And if Marilyn Manson actually did that shit, fuck him. And I never fucked up. I never gave a fuck about him anyways. So, yeah. And that nigga was weird to me anyways. Like, I never understood why people listened to that sort of music. But then at the same time, because we understand hip-hop is not for everyone. Yeah. And we understand why we love it. I just like... You know, mm-hmm. let them do their thing. You get what I mean? Anywho's, there's a little bit of um sad news, so we might as well just carry on with that. But really quickly though, actually no, let's carry on with that. I'm a little bit indecisive today. <clears throat> so Nicki Minaj's dad. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace. He um recently got killed by a hit and run accident. We have no idea who the hit who the hit and run driver was. Um he died at the age of sixty four, which is like I mean it's not that old, especially how he died. But, you know, I, I at least he got to live a good life. Yeah. Do you get know what I mean? So rest <laughs> in peace. And shout out to Nicki Minaj, shout out to all the fans, shout out to the family, and I hope everyone's, you know, doing okay. That's all I can say, because I don't know Nicki Minaj, and I don't know the situation. They're still trying to find the guy who hit hit a dad. So, you know, yeah. I feel like all these bad news kind of took the the vibe down a little bit. So I'm going to play some new music. I don't want to just obviously step over that because we just talked about some sexual allegation shit. Took some time talking about that as well. like, And then now a hit and run type of situation. So prayers to, prayers to Nicki Minaj, prayers to her family. Um, I guess that's all we could say. So um, before we move on, Young ads lied to us, bro. Like, really quickly. Young ads, he lied to us. He said, and I quote, I am going to release an album with no attitude. Is that not what he said? Yeah. Or am I tripping? That's what he said, right? I'm pretty sure he said that, yeah. So now, like, what I want to know is... YouTube, why is it like, like, come on. Anyways, as I was saying, what I want to know is this. What's this? So if you have an auto-tune, what is this shit? Hey, yo, Quantic, run them bands up. Yeah, rolling around humble but G'd up, boy, I got my game from Big B, yeah I done seen a boy go against the grain, pull up, whole coop turn Swiss cheese, yeah I'm in a G with my white boy, talking about corn and broccoli Young boys on go, I can't mislead, yeah. Bentley, Bentayga, a Big B yeah. 1006, that's a big game. I gave game to the little bro, we ain't on the brick, now I told him don't celebrate, yeah You see the charges and sentencing guy That's definitely origin <clears throat> And this is the first single of the album don't promise me some shit you can't give me. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. And I, and I respect Young Ads. Don't get me wrong. I respect <clears throat> Young Ads. Like, I like his music, number one. But, you know, there's no point doing all that publicity stunt. You really don't need to do that. I'll be honest. Anyways, let's listen to the song. This is um, Big B. 
by Young Edge of D Block Europe. Hey, yo, Quantic, run them bands up. Yeah, rolling around humble but G'd up, boy, I got my game from Big B, yeah. I done seen a boy go against the grain, pull up, whole coop turn Swiss cheese, yeah. I'm in a G with my white boy, talking about corn and broccoli, young boys on go, I can't mislead. Yeah. Bentley, Bentega, a Big B, yeah. 1006, that's a big B. I gave game to the little bro, we ain't on the brick, now I told him don't celebrate, yeah. You see the charges and sentencing guidelines are different when you fucking with the heavyweight, yeah. Brought you to the water, I played my part, gotta see what you demonstrate. Yeah, I'm not saying 29, get a call from Big Cole Gotta pull up with a 38 featherweight 2015, in that white Sirocco Go ahead on us, no funny stuff Fuck around, not sell us, no grub Me and LB a rub them, they'll cry and call Cuzzy up Back then I used to get on the train with three G-packs Walk around the town and just fuck it up My little niggas getting nicked for the Polkins in town So the shutters and the jakes don't suck with us When I was young I used to walk from Lewisham Graveyard All the way to Frontline to get Lizzie Crumbs and gutter, probably chase something down Probably chef something up by the time I hit chick chicken In my black raft truck Got my flicky on my waist, got my shots on my little fucking phone here yeah. Had a pass up with the fiend outside KFC's yeah. TSG pulled up, I'm on my toes, nigga All I need from you is honesty yeah. Molly water boosts my confidence yeah. Trappers, we don't deal with fraudulence yeah. Stitches do not get acknowledgement yeah. I'ma go and find the war for them yeah. They tryna score, it's a tournament yeah. Gotta speak from a half fuck audience We was oppressed, now we dominant I fucked around, showed too much love They abusing my love, got me thinking evil things See, the game is the game I'ma play it till my grave I'ma deal with this shit that people bring I know the real you the one that you hate maybe that's why I see how it is still got corn for my bros crackhead friend when I was eight years old he was teething out the crib but now I done grew up she a princess I might pick a shoe up edge broke her heart I'ma buy her a new one bagging up in the pink you were white in the hoover we get it I might fly out to Venice yeah five star spot she replenished yeah when you fucking with me can't regret it I bet that your ex gets the message you did we come from the jungle got some firearms bro we don't tumble no hair long and real cool like Rapunzel like it's flinging the coca in bundles I'm a sinner I say what I want to we go shopping I buy I use some lunch too. I done seen a few real niggas crumble. Made a killing off be like a bumble. I'm chilling, I'm in my Kameez. I might fly to Egypt with Caprice. I won't lie, I sweep them off their feet. Close your eyes and picture out these scenes. Hope a love forgives me when we meet. Hear the lies on my name, it's ridiculous. Montclair with the first indigenous. I'm in court trying to assert my innocence. Name infamous. <laughs> How can niggas say he's in court trying to prove his innocence while he's shooting a music video right next to crackheads? Tell me how these n- like, niggas, come on now. Like the police, are, like they're having a field day. Peace of Steve is fucking happy with his video. Like, fam, look at the, look at the woman's face. That's a real crackhead. That's not actor. Like, I, I don't know this by fact, by the way. I don't want to be involved in any police investigation, please. I don't know this as a fact. I'm just saying, you know, just watching the video as any other consumer. This woman is a very good actor. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, she specializes in acting like a crackhead. You can have a job like that. See, like, you see, you see those roles as an actor where all the time you're always, always a detective. Always. You see them mm-hmm. actors. She's one of them actors, she's always a crackhead. <laughs> like, every, every video. But what's, young, what's wrong with young ads, man? Well, there's not what's wrong with them. Obviously, it's from the streets, like, you know, that's normal to them. But I wish he, would, he didn't do this, I'll be honest. Because somebody said in the comments, this nigga must have full confidence in his lawyer. <laughs> To be re- record to. to be <laughs> recording a video in a trap house because, anyways, let's move on. Do you have any new music oh, this yeah. week? OFB is daily W. Ah, oh, I didn't listen to that actually. Um, I meant to, of course. But to be honest with you, can I, can I, can I, can I, um, can I be vulnerable for a second? Go on. I'm not a big fan of OFB like that. Like that, I don't really like. I live in Peckham. <laughs> and I live in North London. So, <laughs> so I have to whisper that. I'm not really a big fan of them like that. Just, you know. <laughs> 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 but, 
But I just want to let you guys know. Um, just want to let you know. I love you guys. Love you guys so, so much. So much. Sensei. Think I'm losing my head, car ride with a gun. A16 start riding for fun. Just got pulled up to the slide in the sums. Turn A7, eat my balls, knife in his lungs. A16, so this is the problem. Why is the mix so bad? You hear that, right? You thought life was over sweet. Blickety blit like 22 G's, make it drip in a drip when a 3 2 beat. Slip in a strip, then we shoot in deed when we're in wood green like the 2 4 Yo, we got cocked our teeth like skilly bang. For many men like 50 cent. You know the gang pop car is silent. Let's get some value on the scam. Yo, like it's part, I got told on my life. Don't go held up and got shot. They're rapping about all of my bosses. Man down to the hold it down Sing in a clip, soaking while she told me Baby, come and stroke it now She said, go brazy, come and poke it now Bless the baby, trying to hold this crown One got weight, two got weight Three was wavy when he got thrown down Oh, there's more, yay <laughs> Oh my, do we, wait, hold on do we have to listen to the whole thing? No, no, some of it though. Uh, okay. Some of the second one, or we've listened to some of it now. Can I stop it? Play it, bro. That was so underwhelming. Nigga, like, really? All right, it's fine. It's music. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we're supposed, we're supposed to be playing the fire shit. Okay, anyways, this is Legacy's section of the new music. If you want my section, you can fast forward. God damn. I'm just rolling my spiff. Jesus Christ. This better be good. I could have went to church road like nine still. Instead, I'm on a block with a nine mil. I had six on the top, not five girls. Bitches seem to talk more when they in high heels. I'm like Chris, like Tucker on a Friday. Let it get smoky, bitch. I want it my way. Got my jeans 30, Dior in a size eight. I've been at D ball since I was five eight. Tech teams, we don't run it back. We love rub people. Let my nigga get the smoke. He loves shut people. Make you feel it in the air. Like Beanie Seagull, divide the cash into two Ain't no media equal Screaming Molly like us, but they say money's evil Mommy, I'm the man, I know mommy's peaceful I see red like a bull, I tell my money legal Now the MPs want us to take a needle I perpetually on my car, my other ride was diesel I'm easy like he, I got my bird, no eagle Never gloves up in the car, told my nigga be cool Just get the car in motion and watch my nigga be cool He beat one, he beat two, he beat after you and now we're over there in the afternoon over there. Back then we was friends and now we're after goons You are not my family, like Parcel Yo, Your older sister's more than fuck, caught you and pulled him up Every time I'm stepping on the rolls, I got my board up. Every time I'm fucking on these hoes, I'm getting bored as fuck These fans are only fucking with the gang until they board of us I heard my bros, he slapped in front of Jinx, that was more than luck Could've been an actor, shit, I could've been a baller cuz Under him and slapping, but they talk like they done more of us 20 men running, fucking know there's only four of us I swear to God this life is fucked But they don't understand Every day's a challenge, I ain't talking about the running man Yeah, they clapped it off, he clapped it back Cause we ain't running fam Bro, packed him off and dashed him off And now we're burning man And now we're burning man with Siggy Need him all like I'm from Philly If you're drilly, then I'm drilly Told my bro, stop being silly Told my whole stop playing with me Told my bro, stop praying with me God, life is short and we don't know When it's taking kill him. Heard I poked him, I poked him Yeah, well, that's true Heard I took that day, they in the night Well, that's a fact to you Every day I'm getting stopped by Think I'm a black you If you really want the lifestyle Then you know you got a stack to you I can't trust a hoe Just fuck a hoe and duck a hoe That's normal uh, Adrenaline I'm getting in I'm wetting in That's thoughtful uh, Swinging in that's forceful Said he's on me cool cool He ain't scoring nothing new I'm hearing this bed talk to Couple murder cases Couple burner cases Couple served the pavement Separating dark and white You weren't no racist Couple turned to strangers Couple turned to pagans Couple weren't the bravest Wait besides that Couple turned to fakers I swear I slapped off the weren't no thinking about it Hella residue I'm telling you I had to fling that outfit Dash six a party, like I was even counting You ever seen a brownie, not the one I'm cheating out in I know a lad that thinks he's bad when these G's around him I know a yak that got attached when she see a thousand I know a 
a man that's in the can and I ain't even shouted. I know it sounds fucked, I got him when they free him out. Aye, aye, aye. SG, Boogs, Claps, <laughs> Bell, YK, CY, Rum, Bricker, Cash. Yeah, you gotta mention all the man them in it. You, you can't pause it on the man them name right now. Juicy. Yeah. Juicy. Aye. Throw up all the man I, them, friend. I, I, I run that back to me. Well, right, you have to run that back the names. All right, so who was it? Juicy, it was Billy, it was Freddy. All right, I feel silly because that was fucking flames. Yep. But what the fuck was the first part? They should not have put that in there. Like, what? Like, your niggas need to realize that niggas like me exist where if I listen to the first 30 seconds and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm turning mm-hmm. it off. If Legacy wasn't in the room, <coughs> I wouldn't have heard that whole thing. That's true. But that was Flames. Like, the second part, though. I like the drill niggas on mellow beats. I think that's what they need to start doing. Yeah, yeah. Because they actually have time to breathe and let their flow actually yeah, yeah. seat on the beat. Whereas on drill beats, like, it feels like they can't write properly to that. Yeah, it's fast, fast, fast. Yeah, do you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. That that was a perfect depiction of y'all niggas need to stop rapping on beat. Yeah. On drill beats. Rap on... See that second beat? And the shit that they're saying as well, the struggle shit? Yeah, yeah. That's where it's come from. That's that's the music that's going to sell for them. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like Because all the shit I be hearing from them is the drill shit. And I'm like, it's fucking getting old. Like yeah, yeah. It's the same shit. Do you get what I mean? Like, the same flow on the drill beat. Like, it's the same fucking yeah. shit. But on the... <clears throat> I guess, what can we call it? Like, it's emotional, beats. emotional hip-hop beat. <laughs> it's a bit of an emotional beat. Yeah. Now, that shit was flame still. I'm not going to lie. All right. So, um, those of you guys who fast-forwarded, please, I'm going to need you to rewind now and go listen to Legacy section of <laughs> the new music. But well, make this? sure you skip that bullshit first minutes of it. Do you got any more? <laughs> yeah, I do. Do you, do you have more? Yeah. Yeah, what's next? Just in case it might be on my list. Yeah, I was going to take it to America. I was going to go with Lil ah. TJ. Oh, no. Hey. Is, is that song with Black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been avoiding listening that to that, you know. It's so sick. I've actually been avoiding... Like, I listen everyone's to told me, and I'm like, Lil TJ, even... You know, Abdul hates Lil TJ. Even Abdul told me, and I'm like, what? Lil Bro, TJ, yeah, no? Lil get, TJ. get out of here, you peasant. I listened to it because Black was on it. Black is hard. I rap. almost listened to it because Black was on it, but then I was like, no. No, nah, his verse was... No, his verse Black was... will not let me I like Lil Black TJ. Black his verse was... Wait, hold on. Do they have a whole project together? No. Okay, it's just one song, right? Yeah. So why are they listening to the song like 20, 27 times? It's like, calling my phone, calling my phone. Maybe one's a um, fucking... Explicit version. <coughs> and this is Calling My Phone by Little TJ and Black. <coughs> Black. Or some say six lakh. Mm. Hey, a song that's about to start like this. You know, it's about to call my phone. Oh, oh. I told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. No, it's hurting you to see me gone. Dark clouds, you gon' see me strong. I won't go back. But trust me, you gon' hold that. Hold that. Baby girl, you know you stole my mind. I ain't tryna nah, play no these games no more. I don't I wanna be touching your name no more. I ain't tryna feel this pain no more. And I'm sorry if my feelings ain't the same no more. Used to be my homie, you ain't gang no more. I am not a nigga you could claim no more. Tryna tie, hoping it don't rain no more. You done put me through some things that ain't changed my core. I love it when I can say that to bitches. I am Bro, not a nigga that you back. can claim no more. We have to go. What? This verse was so good. Wine. This verse was so wait, good. Was that Lil TJ? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This song What's is going written on? so well. What's going on, Bro, man? This song is Lil so TJ good. got bangers now. Fucking, um, you know what? Let's, we have to play that back. Put that back. Put that back. Put that back. Start the song all over. Start the whole damn thing again. God damn. 
I'm sorry for all the disrespect. On your name, little TJ. Steady calling my phone. I done told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. No one's hurting you to see me gone. Dark clouds, you gon' see me strong. I won't go back. But trust me, you gon' hold that. Hold that. Play these games no more. I don't wanna be touching your name no more. I ain't tryna feel this pain no more. And I'm sorry when my feelings ain't the same no more. Used to be my homie, you ain't gang no more. I am not a nigga you could claim no more. Traumatized, hoping it don't rain no more. You done put me through some things that done changed my aura. Now all around the world, I explore no door. No bitch, I'm a dribble than New York. Ass fast, shorty straight, keep no floor. Bad as she doing for herself, I applaud her. No need, I'm talking my boo. So please. Me alone, I've grown, and it's all cause was too started. I haven't told you I'm gonna run. Steady calling my phone. I done told you before that it's over. Leave me alone. No one's hurting you to see me gone. Dark clouds, you gon' see me strong. I won't go back. But trust me, you gon' hold that. Hold that. I'm one of a kind, couldn't fake my love Earthquake Ooh. makes some shape, my love Come on, Hope now Stone can't even relate, my love Used to be gang, oh, now you're not gang Come on Used to have fun, no, oh, now you got shame You can't she have fun, no more Now I'm not playing Play on words, she love it when a nigga say I ain't trying to play your mm. game no more No, you can't wear my chain no more Ooh. We ain't not a thing, can't take no more Waiting on your king, you can wait some more Yeah, I remember days when I used to adore her Funny how this shit just flipped like a quarter Get a new thing, I'm a Fendi and Dior Get a move swing, I'll be gone by tomorrow Steady calling my phone I done told you before that it's over Leave me alone No one's hurting you to see me gone Dark clouds, you gon' see me strong I won't go back But trust me, you gon' hold that Hold that Get you up my mind. I can get you up my mind. I can get you up my mind. I can get you up my mind. And that and that was <laughs> little CJ and six black. Bro. Call him a fuck. It's cool, man. I keep you just, yeah, you yeah, you Bro. got it, man. God damn. You know what I love, man? I love when a song is just it's just structured so nice. Like what the fuck, man? Lil TJ. The hook was, the hook was this short, is Lil but TJ we talking about, it man. gave space for that lovely sample. Yes, and I then can keep you up. the oh. two voices, the contrast between Lil TJ and Black. Oh my god, beautiful. Oh my Fucking god. Fucking Michael Angelo couldn't have painted Bro. a better picture than that song. Oh my god. And I am not even capping. The beat. I wasn't even expecting the it. The verse. I never expected it. I never... Me neither. Me I'm, neither. I'm glad I listened to I that I need song. to put more respect on Lil TJ. Yeah, I'm glad I listened to that song. Like, Fucking God man. damn, what? Fucking hell. She had me crying and shit. I was over here like... What beat? What I, I almost song? texted my, my last bitch. Like, I had to stop myself. Legacy had to stop me, man. You already That's see that. performance. Yeah, shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's that's going straight onto my playlist. I ain't give a fuck. Uh, but then now I'm going to think about that bitch, man. I don't know. Damn. Anyways, that's one of them songs that takes you back. Yeah. To that moment in time. Just before you fucked up. Just before. Nigga said, ain't going to be one of them niggas you can claim no more. Can't claim me. All them pictures on Instagram, please take that off. Thank you very much. My wife wouldn't like that. Jesus. Anyways. 
Anyways, I'm I'm gonna play some of my new music now. Cause, goddamn, god motherfucking damn. Um, so recently I've been paying a lot of attention to Mahalia. Because number one, she's beautiful, and that's not the reason why I've been paying attention to her. By the way, I am not misogynist. She's talented, and mm-hmm. she is over in America. I can't remember who her label is, but they they like they're taking her serious, serious, like serious, serious. So recently, she um had a single come out with Rico Nasty called Jealous, and of course, this shit was flames. So we can not fucking play it. Anyways, here's Jealous by Mahalia and Rico Nasty. <laughs> By the way, the mm, mm, really quickly, babes, I'm gonna I'm 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 pull you back. By the way, I think they they sampled that Narcos. Do you remember the. Have you ever seen Narcos? Oh, shit. Just go on YouTube, type in Narcos theme tune. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna type that in straight after this song plays. They sampled that song. Definitely. This is Jealous by Mahalia and Rico Nesting.
Alright, that was so good. I just, I just couldn't stop it, but yeah. Goddamn. Mahalia carried Rico Nasty on that song. Yeah. No offense to Rico Nasty. I love you, girl, but Mahalia carried you on the whole song. Goddamn. Goddamn. What a fucking talent. Atlantic Records, by the way. And who did you notice on the um uh, on the list of who oh, might Rose. have written such a song? I saw a familiar name, Mira May. Oh, did you hear some of the cadence yeah, and melody? When she was like, mm, I'm mm. going crazy. I was like, oh, wait a minute. That it just sounded familiar. like it very familiar to something I've heard before. So mm. I was like, I was, I was kind of surprised to see Mira May on there, but kind of not. No, I'm not surprised at all. It makes sense. Ever since you, well, you told me that she was a singer, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't know she was a singer. She's a good writer, though. That was a, very, a well-written song. Anyways, not just her. There were other people on the writer's yeah, credits yeah. list, by the way. So we don't just want to, like, you know, make it seem like she wrote the whole song. Um, that was Mahalia and Rico Nasty. What is it called again? Something. Jealous. Jealous. The best podcast in the motherfucking UK. Where else would you get such a real reporting? Come on. Where else? Anyways, what are we moving on to next? What you got? You got anything else? Uh, no. New song wise? No, no, no. Nah, me neither. I was going to play the any, any tune, but I didn't note it down, so I can't bother finding it now. Um, right, so we can move on to some like good news. Some you know news that we could just put out there. First of all, um, Floyd Mayweather got into gra- grandpa mode and decided to buy his grandson, who, by the way, is six months old. Six months old? Do I have that right? Six weeks old. Not six months. Oh, six weeks old. Jeez. All right. And he bought that digger. Oh, I say that digger. The baby. He bought the baby. Not to be confused by the baby, the rapper. He bought his grandson a Rolex. A whole Rolex? Yeah, a Rolex watch. I'll show you the Rolex. How is how's that even going to fit? Uh, watch, that's, that, that's what you think, but look at this. Look at this. Isn't that the cutest motherfucking Rolex you ever seen? <laughs> <laughs> that baby trip. In the end, drip, he has six, week, six weeks old baby. You... Ever find yeah, yeah, yeah. drippy s man had a whole role at six weeks, you know. But guess who the father of the baby is? Oh, obviously, this is um, Yaya Mayweather's baby. Mm-hmm. Yaya Mayweather is Floyd Mayweather's daughter. Yeah, guess who the father of the baby is? It's NBA, NBA young yeah. motherfucking boy. I don't know if I'll be celebrating NBA seed like that. <laughs> no, no offense to NBA. But he's achieved such great things. I know. But he a little bit off. Just a little bit. Like. A little bit. That nigga's retarded. <laughs> the kid's gonna grow up chewing ice. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, just staring at strangers just chewing ice. Like. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm being young, but I, I've never been a fan. <laughs> But he has a lot of fans. Oh my god, they're annoying us, bro. He has a like bare fans, and I'm like, yeah. where the fuck you niggas at? I never see you in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never, I never get into a conversation with someone, and they're like, oh, you heard that new NBA young boy? That's literally never, never happened, happened to, to me. me. No, ever. So I'm just, I don't know how, where his fans are. Like maybe just all in America, I don't know. But shout out NBA young boy, and shout out to your beautiful. Young baby with a Rolex on his arm, bought for him by his grandpapa, Floyd Mayweather. That's the stupidest thing, though. Like, come on, why are you buying a six weeks old baby? Yeah, a can't Rolex? tell the time. Like, stay from that. Like, it's the ro- like you're gonna have to sell that Rolex. He's gonna obviously grow past it. Yeah, yeah. Like, say for example, you bought it for him, and you're like, oh, when he's eighteen years old, I'm gonna give this to him as a gift. That makes more sense. <laughs> it makes more sense Like it's sentimental Blah 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 I get it That's why I'm not hating on it all the way But Just how The execution is a bit wrong That's all But then again I don't have money to buy a Rolex For my grandson mm-hmm. So I need to shut the fuck up I mean It is what it is Anyways um, Lupita Nyong'o Carries on being A great black woman 
that she is. So recently she had, I think we spoke about this actually, but it might not have been on the podcast that we recorded, like with the proper mics and blah, 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 whatever. She has this new colouring book or children's book, something like that along those lines, called Solway, right? And now that children's book, the, the book, actually, before I go into that, the book talks about issues of colorism within the black community. And now that book has been turned into a net, Netflix series. Siri. So shout out, shout out to Lupita and um, give her a round of applause. Go. Right, right. Uh, yes, and it's going to be on Netflix. So you look catch that Silway is called, and it's going to be an animated musical. So um, I'm guessing obviously it's, it's like a kids thing. So yeah, it's going to be geared towards kids. <clears throat> but I'm going to get check it out, innit? Because I love some kids movies. Like, have you seen Soul? So I haven't seen it yet. Oh, you need to watch it. That movie is sick. Yeah, watch it. It's a sick movie. Speaking of Netflix, well, we give them a lot of shit. But are there any Netflix series yeah. that you would recommend? Do you know what? Because I haven't, like, dated anyone long-term recently. Mm-hmm. I don't have no Netflix, bro. That's the only time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all paying for Netflix, nigga. I'm getting Bay's Netflix. Like, right. Bay, what's your password, Bay? <laughs> Put that in my, my laptop. Uh, I'm going to need other places, my yeah, TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one in the back because well, you gotta put that in in that one. You good? Alright, cool. Let's let's go. That's that's how it go, man. Um, but from the past, from like the ones that I've seen in the past, I have to say my favorite one of all time, like on Netflix. Damn, that's not even on Netflix. Netflix. What series? Oh, what series? My favorite series of all time. No, just what series would you give them to watch? The listeners. Oh shit. You already know. First of all, let me give you guys a fucking... This is the plug right here. Snowfall. You have to watch Snowfall. Season 4 is coming out soon. I think on the 27th. It's like in a week or something. Man's excited for that. But start on season 1. Go start season 1. You can start season 4 as well. It's not like it wouldn't make... Some of it wouldn't make sense. But start on season 1. Trust me. Straight from the first episode, it's lit. Anyways, so you know it's not even a thing where you have to warm up to it. Like yeah, yeah. It's a it's a fucking lit show. It's about this nigga selling drugs in the eighties and about how the CIA funded all that shit, and they knew about it. They helped him, got him out of jail when police caught him. Like I'm I'm. It's not really spoilers, but yeah, it's yeah. it's it's that vibe in it. It's a sick show. Mm-hmm. My guy, Damson Idris, did his fucking thing on that as well. British lad. Amazing. Fucking amazing show. That's definitely the one show I'd say. Snowfall. Um, another show I'd say is probably... What was that fucking um, series that they had? And it was like all oh, fucking... Oh, fuck. It was Netflix. It was about the Tiger people. With Joey Exotic. Tiger King. Tiger King, that's the one. Yeah. Definitely was Tiger King. That yeah. shit, that shit is lit. Yeah, yeah. Like at first, when Shorty, when Shorty, like when she, when she prescribed it to man, I was like, you mad? Like, what do you think man's like watching some Joey Exotic man? Like, what the fuck is going on here? But it's a lit documentary. Karen Basket, I'm fucking scared of. I'm Karen gonna lie. Basket. And <laughs> killed her husband. Wow. <laughs> Can't convince me that. Yeah, yeah, American accent ain't that bad, you know. Carol Mask. Whoa. God damn, this nigga, like, think it could pass for a fucking sun, sun. A racist. Yeah. <laughs> Them Texas niggas. Let's just put it that way. But yeah, um, what was I just talking about? Uh, Netflix you. shows. Yeah, yeah. So that's another one. Which other one would I recommend? I got one. Which one would you recommend? One that I started last year. Yeah. First season. Snowpiercer. Oh my god. Snowpiercer is sick. Don't even Did slice. he get good? What what episode did you give up on? Episode two. Bro, Snowpiercer is sick. I'm well I'm, I think episode I can't really remember the first I think the first couple episodes I mean, yeah, was, was not bit, that like it was like they're on a train, it's freezing outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> like, like, I think it, it gets right. lit from episode four or three. 
All right, cool. But I might give that another go. The, obviously, the second season just started. And I might give it another go because yeah. I did watch it with someone that was very fucking annoying. So yeah, um, it was it's a good series. I'm All right, for it. cool. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. And, and the um, name kind of pissed me off as well. I'm not gonna lie, Snowpiercer. But it it looked sick, and that's why I picked it. Yeah, and yeah. then it was just like two episodes, and they were still on the train. I'm just like, right, what's going on? Well, the whole thing is on the train. I know, but like nothing on the train was that. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean it wasn't that deep. It's like, oh cool, it's society on the train. Oh yeah. But I did I was expecting to get more lit like straight away now. Because yeah. I don't have patience like that, I'll be honest. But I'll I'll give it another go yeah, in it. It was good, it was good. Because the same thing happened with me at Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. Like I didn't I watched it twice and I turned it off in the middle of episode one. I was just like, what the fuck is this what? shit? Yes. You episode need one... patience, you need patience. Nah, episode one did not it, it did not pull me in at all. Nah, you need patience. When I got to the second episode, I was like, yeah, exactly. oh, exactly. it's about to go and then down. We got to season eight. Remember yeah. That? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That was a roller coaster. That one upset me. Yeah. Anyway. Upset me. But what I'm excited about, even though I'm vegan, is that Wendy's is coming to London. Wendy's? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and so is Salt Bay. Yeah. <laughs> and Salt Bay as well. I will not be visiting the Salt Bay restaurant because it's a bit above my price price bracket. Yeah, yeah. So, girls out there, if you want to go on a sexy date with Lord Poddington, please dial 078-966-79692. That Wendy's day going to be lit. Take you out to Wendy's, get me, pound a couple chicken fries, Chips, go fries, French fries, American call it, Americans call it French, French fries. fries. Get a couple French fries out there, you get me. But um, that's about it, you know. That's about it. Nothing else happened this week, unless you can think about anything else that happened this week. No. No, not, not much else happened this week. Let's see if there's any breaking news, though. Because sometimes there'll be breaking news, and then we're like, oh, my God. Oh, happy birthday to the Queen, Rihanna. I almost fucking forget. I almost fucking forgot. How dare I fucking forget about that shit? How old is she? Thirty-three, God. young, old. I mean, young years. You know what the fuck I meant. <laughs> <laughs> she is thirty-three. Damn. Nigga. You ever seen a thirty-three-year-old looking like that? Yeah, I was. Nah, the nah. Age gap. I was thinking the age gap wouldn't apply if. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're, you well, you, Rihanna's not even looking at you, anyways. So you'd be surprised. Yeah, nah, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's the <laughs> She's in it like. <laughs> 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 she's she's on a different damn. type of time. Like. What happened to her and ASAP Rocky? <laughs> that was just some press. Yeah, that was good. That damn. was just some press. Is that Rocky ain't like he saw the strokes is that like Rocky was giving. Oh yeah, that's you true. think Rihanna is settling for that? She's, she's dating billionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's not settling for some. Yeah, yeah that's come true. on. That was some press. They was probably on holiday together as friends or some shit. Mm-hmm. It happened and they were like, you know, let's not say anything about it. It's cool if it sells records. Like, come on, it's Rihanna. <clears throat> ain't nobody can hold her down. That's why she's my ba- she's my future baby mother. See. You have to understand that bad bees are different from women. Bad bees, Rihanna is a bad bee. Like, she makes her own decision whenever the fuck she wants. She's on her own time. She's not on your time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every time you get to spend with her is a luxury. That's why you don't be seeing her with no basic niggas. Like, it's not. Mm-hmm. It's a different type of situation, different type of self. That's why. In the future, I would like her to be my baby mom. Mm. Because I don't want to hold her down. She's a bad bee. Of course. She can't be held down. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. Niggas have tried. Niggas have made songs about this. Can't turn her home to a housewife, blah, blah, blah. You just can't. It's not possible. But she can be your baby mom. That's true. Yeah. And I actually... Prefer bitches being my baby mom's than my, my wife. Less headache. <clears throat> we have an amazing creature together that you know ties us together forever. Beautiful, 
beautiful stuff. Anyways, moving on really quickly. Um, just searching to see if there's any. Oh, rapper ambush. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, damn, how every time I need this nigga is never here. Like, there we go. Black boy, rapper, ambush, has been sent to jail. He is recently revealed on his Snapchat or Instagram story, whichever one it is. Due to circumstances outside of his control, ambush has ended up in prison for a crime he did not commit. <laughs> but he didn't. If you wish to write him to keep him in good spirits, please do. Not hesitate to do so. So that's it. So that proves that niggas is in jail now. That's it. What did he do? How, like, what crime did he not commit? From. Due to circumstances outside of his control. Nah, this nigga dropped the album. People ain't paying attention. Now he's in jail. <laughs> that nigga's name is Amber. <laughs> Police got you like that. <laughs> shit. Oh shit. <laughs> You're real <laughs> time to change your name. Nah, he's only just living up to the name. Uh, he's supposed to be the ambush, show, not the ambush. <laughs> I know, but he didn't say whether it was the R or the E. Oh, yeah, he just true. said ambush. You guess, oh, nigga. <laughs> he's describing what's happening. <laughs> I am dead. I'm wish. All right, I'm not laughing at the fact that he got sent to jail. Because if he did get sent, got sent to jail, um, prayers to him unless and his family. Of course. I just yeah, of course, unless he deserves it. Um, but I just think this is cap. I think this is absolute cap. This came out within the last nine hours. I'm I'm sorry, and fucking Shade Borough was able to screenshot this. Exactly an hour after, which sometimes happens, but it just looks like cap. There's no mention of what the crime was. Anything. Yeah. Like, no mention of anything. Like, why he was locked up, you know. Don't think people might want to know that. Anyways, obviously, Tion Wayne, Wiley again. Oh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are again, over. Bro, bro, I'm finished. <laughs> Good for Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're going to see his mental health get better. And, um... <laughs> oh, 1,000%. 1,000%. Um, yeah, that's it. There's nothing else much happened. Oh, yeah, RIP Pop Smoke. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in, pe rest in peace Pop Smoke. It was his first um, year anniversary of his death. Fucking sad, man. We need the um, next. Who's going to be the next Woo? Who's good? I don't think anyone can replicate that, you know. The Woo. Nah, he yeah. said he said he was just a he was the perfect embodiment of the woo. But he needs Oh, he needs someone else from the yeah, woo to yeah. come out. He's to like the avatar. Now. Okay, there has to be a next avatar. No, no, there will be. There will be. I thought what you meant was that like if someone can replicate what he did, like the impact, um, no, no, the no. sound, like all of that. Even though like I feel like he should have given UK UK drill a lot more credit than he did. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to argue with, with someone who's lost their life. Do you know what I mean? But there is one thing we forgot to mention when we were talking about Meek Mill. So Meek had a bar, I guess, in a song. Um, actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. And if I ever like I'm going out with my child, it'd be another Kobe. Shit, I could tell that they ain't never know me. Because if they knew me, so he, he said some bar and mentioned Kobe. And the bar, I couldn't even hear it when he was saying. But anyways, the bar was like, yeah, if I never like, I'm going out with my chopper. Like, oh, it'd be another Kobe. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I did not get that until I read it. Okay, that was a little bit inappropriate. Too soon. <laughs> you can't see Legacy's face. But his face is hilarious. Bro, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. 
speak. No. <laughs> speak, my brother. Speak, please. There's no, there's no jokes. You can edit. You can edit. No, no. There's no speak jokes. and then edit. It's better to speak and edit. What are you going to say that's that, that bad? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> he said, I'm going out with my chopper. It be another Kobe. It took me a while to clock that as well. Wow. Okay, me. That was... Yeah, that was just bad. Yeah, that was bad. Like, I get it. I get the double entendre. It's actually sick. Yeah, but, but you can't not, comment on that too that. yet. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got to wait at least 10 years before you can mm-hmm. see a bar like that. Come on. I didn't even... Because I saw people were having a rant about this. I didn't know what the bar was about or, or whatever. I just saw that. Okay, cool. We should probably yeah. talk about this. But God damn, Meek. Shit. Yeah. On what other podcasts are you going to get live reactions and such things <laughs> as... God damn, Kobe. Not Milk again. And 6 9 and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, really. I don't want to see Meek next week. Or he's getting he's getting a back at it again. Yeah. I think he deserves one. We've let him slide. Yeah, we've let him slide a lot of times. And I think he deserves one by now. It's G1. Depends, though. Like, if he keeps doing stupid shit like this, Jay-Z might have to, like... Actually, I'm waiting for when Jay-Z... When they ask Jay-Z about Meek and he goes... He just says nothing right yeah. now. If that happens, then I'm like, oh, it's you finished. don't fuck up. Yeah, yeah. You should have listened to Jay's advices. But anyways, <clears throat> there's something else that we did, I didn't really want to talk about because I think this is cap. But Diggity keeps getting stopped by the police. It's him and Meek fighting for another back out again. Yeah. And Diggity keeps getting stopped by the police around the time when his album's coming. Yeah, and I felt bad about it for a bit. And then there was a video where the officer was trying to say, say to him, like, your license plate keeps flashing. Coming up, yeah. As a double. Stolen car, yeah. yeah. You, should, you should sort that out. You should just get a new license plate. Yeah, you should sort that like, out. Stop <clears throat> crying. It's not that big. Mm-hmm. They're stopping you because your license plate is getting flagged. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I'm not saying it's cap as in this is fake. I think it's real, but it's just not as deep as they're yeah. making it. He, he's saying that he brought the car, but that's not the problem. I know. You can buy but the sometimes car. Sometimes niggas don't know. Yeah, you, you can buy I mean? the car, and the person that sold you the car could have put... It could be stolen. They yeah. swapped out the license plate. Yeah, and, st- and, and sold you the car. Get a new, you can get or, a new license plate. Or the new license plate on there is from a stolen car. Exactly. <laughs> Simple. You, you can get a new license plate. <laughs> yeah, easy. <clears throat> fix it. Just get it. Yeah, just fix it. Exactly. Um, I mean, it's enough. I'm just waiting for that for the for the music to be honest. And it's enough. I don't need to see any more. Yeah. Diggity get stopped by the feds. Yeah, we get it. Diggity get stopped by the feds. Yeah, we get it. It's just like he's really good at marketing though. But that part needs to stop. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyways, what else can we break? What other news can we break? La di da. You can tell I really don't want to stop now. <laughs> but. We're going to have to... Look at Maya looking all cute in there. God damn. All right, Maya. She looks a lot like one of my exes. Damn. And I hate that bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Edit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. What's the time stamp? (laughs) No, you (laughs) swear. I don't care. I didn't say that. Anyways, that's it. Do you have any... um, I I don't know who needs to hear this. Do I have... Oh, I do. Ooh, I kind of do. I don't know who needs to hear this. Yeah. But... Men don't hate women. Mm. And women don't hate men. Word. You know what the problem is? That's it. Zero communication. Or exactly. zero willingness it's getting worse. to communicate. It's I know, and now it's getting worse. Now it's getting to the point where it's like, oh, fuck it then. No communication. Yeah. Is the way we should do this. Fucking hell. Fam, for me to be able to hook up with a girl, I have to act like I don't like her. That's fucked. No, I'm being serious. When I'm, whenever I'm being a nice, sweet gentleman, yeah, yeah. I'm not getting up. Like, and sometimes I'll be like, shit, why did I do that? Why was that that nice? Do you get what I mean? But whenever I've been a dickhead, like, it's been so easy. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that's neither here or there. But what you said is true. We don't hate each other. That's true. We do not. We just don't understand each other. It's that simple. Anyways. I don't know who needs to hear this. 
Lancy folk. <laughs> but leave my motherfucking girl alone. Just leave her alone. Okay. <laughs> this guy. What's your what's your flame? What's your flamey? <laughs> yeah, I don't have one, so I just thought that would be a funny one. To give. My flamey for this week. Do you have one? I got one. Ah, uh, you, you go first. You go first. Go first. Go first. I'm upset that I played that okay. little TJ. Record. Yeah, you should have played that. That record is so yeah, fire. It's so Jesus Christ. There's only a couple of songs that I consider like that I've heard. Yeah. That I consider well written or well structured. Mm. It's I'm gonna put that there. That's definitely one. March Madness. And um For me, Chicago Freestyle from Drake. Chicago Freestyle? Yes. Oh yeah, that one's good. Yes, too. very well written. The, the beat, cadences, everything about yeah. that song is perfect. There's everything. a Drake song in there on my list, but I can't remember which one it is. Jake, Drake probably got a couple of songs like that, to be honest. Because yeah. he, make, he makes it seem like it's easy to do that. But it's not. It's not. <clears throat> it's not at all. Anyways. Fam, what, where's the... Oh, flamey fam, we're waiting. Niggas is waiting. Audiences is waiting. This is an audio experience. You can't just leave them just starving for more. Actually, maybe that might be the thing to do. Oh, man's about to play Coldplay. Oh, Coltrane. What you know about Coltrane? What the fuck you know about Coltrane? What? Listen. What? These little niggas think they know music now. I don't have Spotify Premium. Yeah. But if I showed you my playlist, mm-hmm. you'll be shocked. Mm. My playlist is weird. Who is it? It's just, it's just bare randoms. It's bare, like, there's no correlation. But that's a good thing, though. Yeah. Because that means that you appreciate yeah, if it sounds All good, it's, it's, it's going there. Yeah. This is nah, a song I, like I heard. That. Mm. Yeah, now, when Coltrane did this actually come hard. out? Does it say? It should say. Hold on. 2019. I heard this last year. There's a couple songs. Yeah. You know when you hear a song and it just marks like... The time a, a period. period, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Was, you, was you going through some shit? No, it's not even that. Oh. It just... No bad bees involved? No, no, no. Okay. It's just when you have like... Okay. I like hearing stories period about where you'll just listen to like St. John yeah. back in 2019 like October that was my St. John run where every time I was going to uni I was walking I was listening to St. John I'm not going to lie I was in that early in St. John yeah, it was, was more like early 2020s yeah. like around the time when um, lockdown started that's when I got into him because I've been hearing more go on about yeah, him he's hard, like, he's okay I could see this guy, Same and then time. Monica Lewinsky. Oof, I love Same that record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That record. Oh, that is another record that's perfectly written. He has written, a couple. Actually. And Roses as well is another record Roses. that's perfectly written. The one that I feel fucked up is the, the one with the Kanye feature. Yeah. It was it was going. It was, it was going yeah, there, and then going. Kanye just, yeah. Yeah, it would have been the standout on that project, I feel. Yeah, but then Monica Lewinsky, for me, that's what Monica Lewinsky yeah, yeah. did. Yeah, that song is fucking. Alright, so this is Heroin by uh, Coltrane with a free instead of an E for those of you, Sergeant. And with, that's with the coal, not the trade. Yeah. Uh, off of Heroin. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I judge. Let me run that back. Okay, run, run it back, run it back. I drugs, move touch, medicine, push me, call you a heroin, a heroin. We pulled up in a white like it was a white party. Ain't no nose on this side, but they play a knife party. A heroin, good night, we say tonight, we need more space, we need more time, we say we're Day job in the day 
much of a genius this nigga is man Fuck jesus off. christ what a song <sighs> what oh now i'm about to go back and listen to that ep or that little album whatever it was because it's a short one isn't it yeah god damn anyways for this week after valentine's day man's thinking of up in the toxic toxicness a little bit more you know what <clears> i mean <throat> like uh, so I have these two perfect artists that came together recently <laughs> to celebrate Valentine's Day with a mix of masculine toxicity or whatever the fuck it's called. So this is Tory Lanes and Chris Brown. Ooh, but you thought Chris was dead. Nah, that nigga is still somewhere making a lot of money. Feels is what it's called. And I bet this is what Meg and Rihanna felt like. Oh no, actually, I shouldn't say that. I love both of those women <laughs> and respect them completely. Of course. Here's Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So that was Fuse by Tory Lanez and Chris Brown. Ladies, please go listen to that. Do not look at the past of these both gentlemen. <laughs> Tainted by allegations. Of course, the music is still fire. You know the music is fire. Yeah, you, you're feeling it. You was dancing when it was playing. You know you was. So that's the end of the podcast. And Lord Poddington is calling the end to this. And to you all, hear he, hear he, remember the horrors are not to be treated like the wives. Remember the wives are not to be mistreated or treated like horrors. Just remember, stay in everyone's prayers and may the Lord be with us. May the, all, may the Lord be with us all. I don't know where I'm going with this. And this is the end of the podcast. Do you have anything else to say, Legacy? Uh, remember, all art is man-made in the image of God. Oh, okay. Yes, that that was a good one. I love that one. Thank you. I really do. The original, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Came up with that all on your own. Didn't you? Don't worry. <laughs>